waiting for YouTube to show that we are live. <laughs> All right, and we're live. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Hey. Good morning. Uh, welcome to yo, yo, day yo. two of E3 2021. Uh, as you can tell by the title, if you're already here, uh, we're going to be watching the Xbox and Bethesda Games Showcase. Uh, I'm hyped for this. I'm, I'm very excited to see what they have in store. Uh, you know, I've got my uh, I've got my Xbox controller <laughs> lab controller handy just because I'm <laughs> I'm trying to will the controller lab to coming back. Uh, that's kind of the thing I want the most because I'm still sitting on just the one Series X controller that I got with the console, and I'm like, <laughs> okay, you know, at some point they're gonna they're gonna give me the ability to customize well, these, uh, and I'm gonna mm -hmm. go ham on that. Like I, I love. Well, that's like. You learned your lesson, right? Maybe, maybe learned your lesson from PlayStation Five because you have two PlayStation Five controllers, and then they announced all those variations. The yes, right, I, I and I want those <clears throat> very badly. Um, that, the, the black one's really sleek looking. Yeah, the black one looks really, really, really yeah. good. Um, I do love uh, that controller factory I didn't, though they did for Xbox. A man of a, a person of culture. Hi guys, just finished Rift Apart. Derek, I fully agree on it. It is pure bliss. Hell yeah. This I, is the I, game I think that's going to really make some, a lot of new fans of Ratchet and Clank. So mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Christian in the YouTube chat says, you guys must have seen mm -hmm. the GameStop ad. Yes, I, I think you're talking about the new Nintendo Switch GameStop ad that's being circulated around Twitter. Honestly, like I get that people feel like, oh man, this this has got to be it. it. I don't think it's it. I don't How many think. times have we been at the, this has got to be it? <laughs> it's So so to, to give you a recap, Ash, because it's really nothing mind-blowing, is GameStop has an ad where they talk about trading stuff in towards a new Nintendo Switch, but oh, they I'm capitalized the N in new in the middle of a sentence. And so people uh, are like, oh, this is it. This is it. And I'm like, yeah. I, I think it's somebody held down the shift key. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't think. Right. I think <clears throat> Nintendo also... Uh, you know, put a bad precedent is having new in front of all their damn system names. So that's yes. why I'm looking yeah. at it now. So I can see why people. Think I, I that can, that yeah, I understand game. why, yeah. but I think people are just so thirsty for new Nintendo Switch or Switch Pro info that that they're right. they're finding a link that <laughs> isn't necessarily there. Um, also, I just want to issue a quick reminder to folks in our Patreon chat and our YouTube chat. Uh, not everybody is up on the latest E3 leaks, rumors, stuff like that. So if you could, please refrain from mentioning like verified leaks that have come out just because uh, one, we're trying to go in blind. Like we don't want to know what's coming up because, uh, you know, it kind of right. we don't want to <laughs> fake our reactions, which we wouldn't anyway, but we don't want. You know, yeah. don't spoil it. You can for us. see don't how our exactly reactions to watching. Mario yeah. and Rabbids yesterday was kind of muted because it's not like, oh my god, it's like, yep, there it is. Yep, yeah, yeah. So we expected it. So, yeah. um, Grantles with a five dollar super chat says, "Who's ready for Skyrim two and no banjo?" Uh, this guy, I, I, I yeah, I for him there, just That's for pure pretty pain. much what it's gonna be. Yeah, yeah. Ban banjo. I'm not a banjo fan, but I would be hype as hell to see banjo like return just because I know how many people would be happy for it. Um, I would be one of those people. I, yeah. I will explode. <laughs> oh, I, I would probably hear Amy banjo. screaming somewhere in the house. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I don't think it's going to happen. I've, I've hoped for a new banjo game every Microsoft E3 for like the last six yeah, or seven years it's, and it's uh, never happened. I don't know so. though. For, for me, there's always one hype game, but before I get into that, I want to uh, highlight this super chat from Rene de Ecta with a, uh, five euro super chat says i beat hollow knight yesterday best metroidvania ever nice wow congrats i still yes. need to do that um it's really good it's really good i i have a bit more of a fondness for castlevania and metroid but that's just me being a classicist but i mean hollow knight you can't argue with the results because i think that sold better than both uh than any metroid game i'm pretty, pretty sure any ca is, yeah, castlevania ex exploration game so it's like oof yeah <laughs> Yeah, I, I hear you, uh, and I, I want to finish it. It's not like it's a bad game. It's just, uh, again, and I've mentioned this before, I just feel like it's one of those games where if you drop it, it's very hard to remember where you were, and you just have yeah. to start now, over. Yes, that I've is had exactly that experience you. twice with it already, so I totally hear you. Yeah, mm -hmm. Um. so I let, let's, uh, because we have so much extra time, we got about 15 minutes until the show starts, uh, let's get some quick last minute uh, predictions or hopes out of the way. Uh, and I'll do it, as we always do, in descending order. Ash, you're at the top of the screen, so why don't you go first? What are you hoping to see here today? Uh, well, as I just said, I, I, I'm always hoping to see a new Banjo game uh, announced, but I don't think that's going to happen, <laughs> so 
any any hopes I have on that front, I'm not nursing them at all. Uh, I would like to see more Perfect Dark, though. I think, uh, mm. you know, I know you I really want to see that, Steve. And, I mean, I'll be completely honest. There aren't a lot of Xbox IPs that, like, matter to me personally. You know, I'm, I'm not a Halo guy. I'm not a Gears of War guy. I like Forza, but, like, I'm not going to be screaming my head off at Forza 6 or right. whatever. Mm. But I like it. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing whatever they're going to do on the Series X with Forza. Uh, but straight up, I'm just not a big Microsoft IP guy as much. So on that front, I'm looking forward to seeing Halo Infinite. I know we're going to see it, obviously, and that's going to be kind of the, the game's re-debut. Uh, looking forward to seeing that, just to see kind of how it's coming along, and mainly get a feel for how fans are feeling about it, because I know they were not happy at all with the initial debut of Infinite. Meanwhile, I was over here sitting sitting, or sitting here thinking, oh, this looks great. Yeah, wow. Yeah, and, me too. And I look at the, the, the reactions, and people are like, this looks terrible. And I'm like, okay, well, clearly I'm not a yeah. hardcore Halo fan, so I'm not really <laughs> qualified to make that assessment. But yeah, I, you know, I, I'm more into Rare's IPs, obviously, but I'm not expecting to see Banjo. But I do think we'll see Perfect Dark, and I'm looking forward to seeing more of that, if indeed that is on the table. Nice. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll get into that further. But real quick, our, our good friend and artist who is responsible for a lot of the stuff you see on Chivy G, Lon Lon, with a two Brazilian real, uh Super Chat says, Ash, don't give me hope for new Banjo. I, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we're trying to give hope for new I'm Banjo. I'm not. No, I promise. I'm trying, not trying like, to give you hope. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. have hope. Honestly, honestly, I just remember every, there was that one time they gave away all the Xboxes. Uh, Xbox 360 oh. to everybody in attendance uh, to that yeah. one uh, conference. And we every time we went, we were always hoping. It's like, is this the year they're going to like hand out all the Xbox Ones? They're going to hand we, out a bunch we of they, yeah. they never did. They never yeah. handed out systems again. It's like, dang it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I wish something like that would happen again. I'll be honest. That would be hype as hell to be in the audience when, when they do something like that. But I was uh, like, oh, Microsoft, cool, my first Xbox console. <laughs> yeah, Microsoft uh, conferences have, have traditionally at least been pretty entertaining to be part of and, and be at. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. They, they, they always they know how to like... They tend to be CG heavy, though. They, they are CG heavy, but I do like the fact because... I got into the industry at, like, the tail end of, like, the, the era of the big press conference, you know? Um, mm -hmm. And Microsoft still kind of brought that energy a few years after most people stopped. And so I was, you know, I, I, I liked being able to see that because as a kid, I would watch other people go to these, you know, the folks working at EGM, uh, the early IGN days folks. And the only thing that I regret is that I wasn't in the industry when Nintendo was still doing it because no. damn it. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah. I don't, although some of those conferences are kind of rough. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 right. I get that they can be kind of cringe. Like when you're in the audience and you're not seeing just the highlight reels, you realize that there are definitely moments where you're like, okay, this is still just regular people trying to entertain and put on a show and it doesn't right. always land. Um, yeah. But, you know, when you're on the Internet as like a teenager watching just the best parts of it, you're like, God damn, this is like a, you know, <laughs> 60 mile per hour hype train. <laughs> um, right. Uh, anyway, and the uh, Otter, thank you very yes, much for the uh, four dollar ninety nine cent donation. Says I'm at work right now. My coworkers uh, would not be able to handle my reaction to a new banjo game. <laughs> Just I believe yeah, it. flip a table you're, over, you're, be like, I quit. And I would get along. My life is <laughs> <Exactly>. fulfilled. <laughs> mm. um, oh, that would be so hype. And Captain Finlandia, our executive producer, and I apologize. I, I know that this is probably a Finnish currency, but I just don't know it off the top of my head. Um, with a with a five something super chat says uh, Swiss francs actually, it's uh, Swiss francs. Oh, thank you. Oh, I, I saw yeah, CHF no and I was just like, I don't know. Um, yeah, same. I just Google it. But uh, anyway, some new Killer Instinct stuff would be nice. And also, hello everyone. Well, hello Hi. back to you, Captain hey. Finlandia. Uh, thank yes. you so much for your support as an executive producer. By the way, if you want to find out more about what that means. Patreon.com slash GV Gaming is where you can find all the info out. I won't bore you with the long plug. Um, I don't I don't expect to see Killer Instinct just because I feel like Perfect Dark is like the rare IP that we're going to focus on. Uh, and Killer Instinct has had kind of a long tail on the Xbox One. I, I would love to be wrong, right. though. I love me some Killer Instinct. Um, yeah. But I, I, I got to Oh, I oh, was okay. just going to say, I feel like it lost steam. But before we get further into it Derek I'm going to hand the mic back over to you because I want to find out your predictions also with whatever you were just going to say now so take it away man oh, no, I, 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 one of my predictions actually was going to be I was like I wonder if we'll see something from like Killer Instinct 2 or like some new sort of seasonal thing for Killer Instinct because mm -hmm. uh, I'd be you know Xbox doesn't exactly have fighting game stuff on their on their system right now so that'd be a nice way to put that especially if uh, Street Fighter is going to stay exclusive to um, to Sony PlayStation yeah PlayStation 
Um, so that's something to uh, have in mind for that. But I think the big thing here is going to be um, uh, seeing what they're, all those acquisitions they got, what they're working together with now. Like, what are they, what are they, okay, we bought these these companies, what are they working on? Here's what they're working on, and here's what you can expect. I think that's going to be the big thing this time. Although, looking at the description, it does mention Halo Infinite Battlefield 2042, so we'll see some <clears> of <throat> you know, the usual, like, all right, there's coming from this, this uh, these these third-party companies as well, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll get a random Dragon Ball Z game dropped again, because that happens a lot oh. of Microsoft for some reason. Man, I would right. love that. Yeah. Um. So, so going into this... I feel like uh, I, I, I'm definitely the one of the three of us that plays the most Xbox here. I think I'm the only one right. that owns an Xbox right now. <laughs> but, he owns uh, a 360. I have an so Xbox One S. I go. have it, I guess. At least we've got some Xbox representation. I have a One S and a 360. This. I played the shit out of my 360, man. I, Same. Oh, man. The I, I actually did not buy a PS3 until a couple years into that gen Same. just because I was enjoying my 360 so much. Um, uh, yeah, I didn't get one until MGS4. That was same, when I got my PC. same. I literally yeah. the that's, day that's MGS4 when I got mine, but I also out. didn't have an Xbox up to that point. I just played my PlayStation 2 and <laughs> GameCube. Oh, uh huh. Yeah, I, I ended up the day MGS4 came out, going down to my local uh, Target and just being like, "Well, this is going to be the most expensive game I ever bought." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and buying a PS3 and MGS. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. For for the conference though, so honestly, it's uh, it's. I don't know what fully to expect, but I can say that every year Microsoft has had one like out of left field announcement that has got me hype as fuck. Like every time, um, mm -hmm. it, oddly enough, it's usually not one of their games. <laughs> like it's always a third party. Like we got PSO two in 2019 and you guys remember, I was like up out of my seat shouting about that. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. you know, we got, we got Kakarot, I believe, uh, shown off there, which Yes. Um, think, wasn't Fighters debuted there as well? Fighters was debuted at a at a Xbox conference, I believe. Like Microsoft usually pulls in at least right. one or two good Japanese game announcements, which I really enjoy. Yeah. Um, but like you said earlier, Ash, I thought Halo Infinite looked great when they first showed it off. It wasn't until people started like Pokemon <laughs> Sword and Shield level analyzing screenshots yeah. that I was like, okay, it does look a little rough, you know. But in motion, I right. thought it looked fine. <laughs> Uh, so I'm looking forward to Same. an update on Halo Infinite. I think that we'll we'll see it kind of looking next gen y you know, hopefully. Um, mm -hmm. I think that uh, we will, you know, I'm, I'm still hopeful that we get the Xbox controller design lab because they always have some kind of hardware thing seemingly at every E3. Some, some hardware announcement because I can't think of a single Xbox conference I went to where they didn't announce either a console or a new controller or, or just something hardware related. Yes, that's true. Uh, you know, right. like, I remember back-to-back -back years, we got the Xbox One S and then the One X the year after that, and then the Series X announced at, at the following E3. Right. So Microsoft is just like, yeah, throw a new hardware thing in there. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. Um, so I'm... I don't expect anything on, on the level of a console, which is why I keep leaning into this controller lab thing. Because they said early 2021 right. and we're halfway through the year. And this would be the place to tell people because uh, they debuted the original controller lab at E3, I want to say five years ago at this point. Uh -huh. And that was like the big focal point of their show that year, because I remember it was really cool for those of you that have never been to E3. They actually had a controller lab set up within their booth at E3 that year. So cool. Yeah, yeah. and you could walk through and out. pick parts cool. and, and you know, if you were on their list of their favorite people, they would then build you that controller, but I was not <laughs> on their list that year. Right, um, right. Shame. Yeah. I'll be right back. I'm going to grab some water before we start. Sure, yeah, you know what? I'm going to grab a drink real quick, but uh, I am just... I have high ex or high hopes. Not high expectations, but high hopes for this show. Um... I think that I think that the Bethesda partnership is going to be interesting. I don't know what to expect from Bethesda at all. Um, you know, I know that there's one game that has leaked. I'm not going to talk about it here. Uh, I have not seen the leak. I just know it, it's a game oh. I would have expected to see anyway, though. Yeah, exactly. But I'm hoping we get um, something related to like Doom or Wolfenstein. One of the I think Wolfenstein's more likely, unless they have like more D Doom DLC. I'm not yeah. Sure, but agreed it, it feels like it's time for going back between doom and wolfenstein makes sense so yeah it wolfenstein. feels kind of like a TikTok type of scenario where they do one then they shift focus to the other and we just recently got doom eternal and some dlc for that so might be might be time for wolfenstein to appear again 
Um, yeah, I will be right sense. back, though. I am going to grab a drink because my throat's already dry, and we got at least an hour <laughs> ahead of us. So I'll be right yeah. back. Uh, Mr. B, the show starts in uh, about six minutes. So you can uh, look at that. In the meantime, I have uh, I, I, I keep prepared. I have my water. And uh, my, my mother was actually visiting uh, this uh, yesterday and left this just this morning. Uh, got to hang out with Kai a bit and uh, be, be uh, grandmother, <laughs> which was nice because it gave us it gave me an Amy relief. Um, and uh, she left us with some uh, Blake's hard cider. So I got some I, I'm having some uh, cider from my mom, <laughs> some triple jam here. Uh, so just enjoying that. So what do you, what do you guys you guys have popcorn? Do you have? Uh, do you have uh, any kind of preferred preferred snack or drink for these sort of shows? Uh, Curtis Hauser, I'm not sure how long the show is. Uh, I'm not sure. At least an hour. Usually it goes about 90 minutes, two hours. Uh, I'm not sure on that one. Oh, Egg Row, you had a right. steak lunch. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm jealous. There we go. Oh. Hey, everyone. I got the new I pooed. <laughs> <laughs> I used to have doing I, that lightly. I had one of those when my daughter was Kai's age. And uh, it had like a little <laughs> click wheel on the stomach. Oh, he had a click wheel on the stomach. Oh my gosh. That's funny. He was napping before. He woke up as soon as he started getting ready for work. Yep. Yeah, this is this is no matter how you slice it, Kai's first E3 for, for sure. <laughs> I'm probably getting busted here and be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> April says, Chili's two for $25. Pregnant wife gets the cheesecake. Yep, that's oh, yep. <laughs> that's how we did it. <laughs> that's how we did it. We, she gave me a little bit of cheesecake. Oh, yeah. I always share. <laughs> I've taken the big stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, the, the thing we always liked was, we discovered the cheesecake later. It was the, uh, we love the chocolate chip cookie with uh, oh, ice cream like on top. Still- yeah. Ooh, those are good. <laughs> that's that's my favorite thing no matter where I go. Yeah, but the, the thing is, it's not good for delivery. You have to have it in the restaurant itself if you're going to have it the best. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. If it cools down at all, you're like, eh, it's not yeah. great anymore. You have to eat it, like, right as soon as it comes out. And the uh, Real quick, someone in the YouTube chat, I lost track. Oh, Misana89 asking if oh. we think we'll see anything new on the Evil Within 3. I hope so. I actually really enjoyed cool. Evil yeah, Within cool. 2. I always forget that's that that's a that's Bethesda game. Game. Yeah, I didn't... I played the Evil Within 1, or at least some of it. I didn't play 2, but I liked what I played of the first two. Game. 2 is really good. Um, yeah. I heard much better things about 2 than I heard 1. <coughs> I, I wrote IGN's Guide for 2, so I played a lot of it. Oh, and right. Mm-hmm. It was one of those few games where, despite having to do, you know, break the game completely down to its brass tacks for a guide I still really enjoyed the experience of playing through it right watcher says Kai for smash and I do think that's gonna get announced uh during this this show oh, absolutely. Case. Oh, Kai absolutely. for smash is definitely um, happening oh you I know do what I, see him I, do, Kai for I do wonder if we'll see you know going going quick into uh tinfoil hat territory I wonder if we're gonna Ooh. see something from Kojima productions because again this is the Phil Spencer shelf theory right He's got the uh, oh, right. he's got the Koji Pro toy on his uh, shelf, and he has a switch. So if there's if if that shelf theory holds water, then then we'll see something right. pertaining to both of those things during this show. And honestly, I could take or leave the Koji Pro thing. Although I am curious what Kojima Productions is working on besides Death Stranding Director's Cut, because uh, mm-hmm. they have to have their next game in production or at least pre-production at this point. Right. Um, and I do wonder, like, I, I think the obvious thing is some kind of X Cloud or Game Pass for Switch. Um, right, that's the uh, um, other part of the Phil Spencer shelf theory. Oh, that we cool. would also see something up for Switch. Would here, that be announced sort of during the Xbox or during? Would that be announced during Xbox or during my, uh, Nintendo? I think. I think question. if it's that's Game Pass for Switch or X Cloud for Switch, I feel that that would be announced by Xbox. I figure that's that's kind that, of there. That sounds like more of an Xbox flavored announcement, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, they... Oh, yeah, and... Hmm, well, I guess Nintendo announced Ori for Switch, right? That's true. true. Yeah, I just... I, just, I, I feel like because xCloud is more is more of a service-type thing, that just seems like something 
that Microsoft would talk about more than Nintendo. Nintendo True. doesn't tend to talk about stuff like that on, in their direct very much, I feel like, anyway. The so, also, we have a $4.99 uh, donation from Howdy Folks Gaming. Hopefully this is it, Chief. <laughs> awesome. Nice. Thank you so much, um, Howdy Folks. I love the name, I, I too, by the way. Asking, well, uh, Hydra City Harry was asking if Square will show off Final Fantasy 16. I, I Oh, definitely. Indubitably. Yeah. I, I I would put money on it. E it Absolutely, we'll see <laughs> sixteen. Happen. Yeah, as as we lead into Don't the show, <laughs> um, I I do want to point out that the other rumor that could be true, uh, that lost steam over recent months is uh, the possibility of Master Chief Collection on Switch. For a while there, people were like, oh, right. a buzz about the possibility of that, and then it just yeah. kind of faded into obscurity. But I guess that could be another thing uh, that could potentially surface here, maybe. Um, maybe. Maybe. But yeah, we, we'll find out in just under 30 seconds, hopefully. Master Chief Collection on Switch would be hype as hell. Yeah, I would, that would love be, that. that would be pretty cool. yeah. Especially if it had cross-play with Xbox. Oh. Yeah, that would be sick. Yeah, I would buy We're that. We're going to find out in about 15 seconds. Uh, I, I have seen a couple of people in the chat saying Psychonauts 2 is probably going to be here. And yeah, I hadn't yeah. thought about that, it was on the but cover it probably will be, and I really want to see like it. It's soon. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Microsoft bought Double Fine, so... Right. Yep, and, then, and we'll find out go. right now. Here we go. Welcome to yeah. the show. We have over a thousand wow. people watching. Oh, Hell yeah. Thousand. Nice. Thank that you That is a so lot much. of 18 plus mm. ratings. <laughs> that is a lot. Yeah. And you, I think you guys are ahead of me. Are you on Twitch or are you on Twitch? Yeah. Uh, Twitch. Oh, you gave me guys. Give me the. Oh, gosh. Hold on. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. I love I love the eight, 18 plus ratings, though. They're like at Xbox. We kill people. Yeah. Ooh, I kind of like this, though. They're, they're doing like a 20th oh, cool. anniversary. Kind of montage. Oh, that's neat. I need to catch up. <laughs> I, it makes me feel so old to know that Xbox is twenty years old. <laughs> I I know. I remember when, I remember uh, when I first got in. It's like, oh, Microsoft's yeah. getting into gaming. They're gonna fail. Like, oh, they're just gonna oh, buy yeah. everything. I yeah, remember, I remember that. thinking that oh, there was yeah. no chance this would succeed, and just mm. I mean. They did it. And they they're pulled the only, it off. I yeah. mean, Google couldn't do it. Amazon can't do it. Oh, yeah. How many companies couldn't do it? Well, so. I, I remember being on message boards back in the day being like, there's no way we have room for three major consoles. <laughs> yeah. How yeah. Long well, Xbox has been with us. Here we and go. Like you, Starting with Todd, Todd Howard. Is a moment I always look bringing it out to, to, as soon as possible. Games, crossing my fingers for my favorites to return, hoping for a few surprises. Most of all, though, Mascaron I love says the stream audio is a bit low. Around the world, come together. Yeah, I had it turned down for the music. What games but mean to all of us? Todd and I think here. you know, this past year, I, I, the, they've meant the, even more. The Thank two you moods for being oh God, with us not today. Todd. Oh, Thank hi, you Todd. for the support you give <laughs> us and one another. Oh, hi, Mark. Xbox is turning twenty, and I wouldn't be here Sorry, if it wasn't for the friendships we've right had that whole time. At Bethesda, we believe video games do one thing better than anything else. At least he's they not wearing a leather jacket this time. Through art and technology, I know. He's, maybe he's been homeworld a little bit after when Fallout 76. Yeah, they're like, reel it back it in a little bit, buddy. Mm. We've traveled the worlds of Elder Scrolls, yeah, the exude of Fallout, to sell that game and, and now, it worked. <laughs> for the first time in over 25 years, we're creating a new universe. Oh, With Starfield. Okay. Oh, okay, we're just starting Set with Starfield. hundreds of years in our future, it's an epic about hope, our shared humanity, and answering our greatest mystery. It's a game we've dreamt of playing. And it wasn't until now that we have the hardware, the technology, and the team who's hard at work at home to make that dream a reality. We're excited to finally share our first in-game teaser and something to look forward to. Oh man. In-game, that's something at least. This could be really exciting. I mean, Constellation Starship Frontier. We have you I, I have a soft spot for space exploration games. Because uh, I grew up with you know, my dad is a huge sci-fi fan, and I grew up playing games like Wing Commander and stuff like that, so a modern take on that type of gameplay would be really cool to see. Hmm. Alright, nothing too crazy so far. It seems pretty nicely scaled back, and not like too hype inducing they say, or anything like that. The yeah. wonder is, not that the field of stars is so vast, but that we have measured it. You're part of constellation now. Do not use part the helmet of oh, I guess our it's family. <laughs> what you found, it's the key to unlocking everything. It's like a person who's like a space cartographer. 
photographer or something. This is all we've been working towards. Jonathan Ralph looks good. We've come to the beginning of humanity's final journey. Prepare for departure. Graviton loop array for all That's why we're here. I mean, if this is in game, it does look really impressive. Yeah, it does. And Dittotronica, I'd say it's probably there. next gen. Good luck, Constellation. You are go for. Uh, Big Z with an Australian. Oh, there you go. Ten November 11th, 2022. Oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Big Z with an Australian $10 donation says, Hey guys, I've joined the Patreon recently. I've been hanging out in the Discord a bit. It's only the second time I've caught a live stream, but wanted to say you guys are great. Well, thank you, and oh. welcome to our Patreon. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, we uh, we definitely appreciate you guys. Uh, whether you're subscribed on our Patreon over at patreon.com slash gvgaming, or if you just sub to us here on YouTube, we're closing in on 68, 000, or 67,000 subscribers, right? I think we're at... No, no 68. No, 68, 68. We're getting close, so if, if you it like our awesome content, please consider hitting that subscribe button. It is awesome to share with you for the very first time one of the most anticipated games in the world. From Todd okay, apparently the stream's a little loud, so we're going to have to just have to find out have a nice little middle ground a between yeah, there and the game. And yes, game stuff. it's exclusive. Oh, Welcome Starfield to the is Xbox exclusive. and Bethesda NPC. Game Showcase. They, they gave the release date, 11-11, so but the thing is... I am so proud to be here today celebrating I, games. Because although it's really an didn't sell me. tough year... No, I, I mean, I needed to see gameplay and I saw none. Of joy yeah. and connection. But I, I'm interested. I just wanted to see, to like, when I think Starfield, I, I want to see people Conjuring in space, like, not on a moon or on an asteroid. Play across all devices mm -hmm. and delivering the power right. of uh, games look, to parents, everyone. It's like we found the good balance. That's good. And now we get to share that quest with Bethesda. But yeah, they're not definitely making partners, sure it's like, yeah, team. Bethesda's all United ours. Screw you, Sony. The very oh, yeah. Games Bethesda to developed games very well everywhere. for Sony, let's be honest. So today, True. we get to reveal more of what's to come. We have an amazing show. 30 titles, 27 in Xbox Game Pass. And of wow. course, every 30, single 30 games and 27 of them are going to be in Game Pass. For That's Xbox <laughs> Series X and S, offering next-gen performance, speed and features we get to work with the best studios on earth next is Nintendo something studios. truly riveting <laughs> the Sorry. latest entry in the haunting in yeah. a provocative franchise i don't see it well GSC you used to have insomniac Xbox with uh, but that didn't last long too yeah coming first to that was Xbox that was a missed opportunity man if i was PC. At Microsoft, this I would have been be like, a true next gen one of the closest where was like when I saw uh, what, the, I forget what they made for Xbox, but that game was like, hmm. Let's take Sunset a look Overdrive. at what you'll get to play Sunset when Overdrive. it launches like, next year. Curious. Sunset Overdrive was actually pretty fun, but the music was so bad. Like, such uh, an awful soundtrack for such a good game. Console launch exclusive. So did you play the original Stalker? Because I, I, I did not. Uh, I've heard good things, but... <sighs> It's one of those games where I look at it and I'm like, I can respect it, but it's probably not for me. Спасибо тебе. Ты многим сталкерам жизнь спас. You're welcome. Давай, малюй картину маслом. Spill what? Blood? I guess. How did you get here? Let me say so many lives. I killed a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> An exchange and all that, so just yeah, kill a lot of people. Here, spill it. Well, I put a bullet in a guy's face. I got a scope, <laughs> and then I shot more guys. Fortunately, their aim is terrible. Yeah, he's like, I just stood way out in the open and shot everyone. <laughs> is that coming back? Um, he'll yeah, be easy. Our poor boy has a weak stomach. <laughs> Remember this sort of this time, remember this area. I feel like Stalker 2 was shown before. Yeah, I feel like it was. Was that like a PKE meter? I guess you're seeing what the the dangerous spots and tossing screws to see like, okay, don't step in there so I don't get pulled apart like a freaking frog. I gotta say, that's original and cool, like catching those yeah. pockets. What the gavarish? What was that crap? I 
Don't know. We're going to go with Chaos Emerald. I did just chaos. talk about a zone. Every day is amazing. Zone has to eat. Can't. What stalker? General is this stalker? Is it like the Metro game? They say you know where the base is. Yeah, I'm, I'm not 100% familiar though. with this. Yeah, I mean, I will say that it's pretty looking. Like visually, it's it's pretty darn good. I I, I liked the uh, effects when they chucked that grenade. I like that, you know, the zone and being able to see that. That was cool. But this is. I'm not against this, but it's also. Well, this is, sorry, everybody. This is probably not a game I'm picking up. I'm I'm just gonna be honest. You know, it, I'm sure there's an audience for this and they'll love it, but it ain't. Me. Oh yeah. Okay. What are we looking at here? Sorry, guys. Uh, Stalker two. Stalker two. Okay. I know. Uh, Starfield was shown, right? Starfield was shown, and it was it was an okay trailer. Like it was pretty, but. You got a launch date. What do you do? Yeah. Learned nothing uh, about what the game is, though, and how it plays. Thank you, chat, for asking where I was. Sorry about that. I just had a bit of a stomach ache. I was in the bathroom. Back now, though. Good to go. Good to go. It is so dark. <laughs> I don't even know. It what really is dark. Yeah, it's really hard to see. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Oh. Yeah, they're sort of relating all this gameplay around the. Campfire is like a story. I see. I see. It, it's a cool framing of a trailer, but yeah, it works for trailers. Like at those little beats. Like here's this little bit. Here's this little bit. Right. Он мучился. Нет. Это хорошо. Он этого не заслужил. А пулю заслужил. Жаль, что ты так с ним поступил. Мне тоже. It looks pretty, but it has that, that next gen piss filter going over it. <laughs> <laughs> That's that, that brown yellow filter. But I get that it's supposed to, you know, evoke that mood as well. That kind of reminds me of like a Russian Leon Kennedy. Oh, totally. Yeah. Wait. I, I honestly don't feel like it looks like really next gen. I, I think it looks good. I think. Yeah, it's Stalker just that filter. And, you know, <laughs> it just looks right. so like brown. Well, now this doesn't at least. I think okay. there's impressive that elements to it. This is nice. Yeah, that's impressive. Yeah. Wow, look at that. That's actually really cool. Yeah. Похоже пора. И куда ты теперь? PDA. Привет. He uses a PDA. Нужно с ним поговорить. Well, it's the you know apocalypse. <laughs> oh, that's true. everyone has palm pilots. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm... This is just kind of low energy, but yeah. I get that there are people that are definitely super hyped for this. It's just mm -hmm. not me. Not even close. Same. Another 2022 game. Able to but hey, safe. day one game pass. Like, I'm I'm good for all that. Like, I, I love seeing right. day one game pass. And that's pass the thing. Like, yeah, that's the great thing about this. Like, we're like, eh, we're not sure. But it's, when it's on game pass, it's like, well, might as well check it out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm not going to spend 70 bucks on it, but I will spend nothing on it and try it. Right. Uh, back for blood. Yeah. Yeah, back for blood. Yeah, this is again. I mean, and we this is kind of here. typical for Xbox Rebuilding. presentations. They usually start out with enough. games that I would consider to be typical stuff that the Xbox anything. crowd would really enjoy, right, but I'm not your typical you Xbox fan, so it doesn't do a lot for me. That's sure. Dead. I am kind of interested. Just, I never got to play Left 4 Dead, but it always looked fun. See, these are the games that I look at them and the trailer does nothing, but then I think about like, oh, playing this with a couple friends might actually be pretty oh, fun. Oh yeah, we have this in here playing through. It'd be good time. It'd be a good time. Yeah, I agree with that 100%. Like, fending off hordes of zombies with with a few of my friends, I I I would. It would be hard for me not to enjoy that. Not if this is a Game Pass game, I will absolutely try it. <laughs> like, the more I watch the trailer and I think about it as a co-op game, the more excited I get. That, it could, yeah, I could I mean, easily see this being fun. Oh, yeah. I, I did mean, play some Left 4 Dead back in the day with friends, and it was fun. Even if it's not, like, usually my kind of game, I certainly had a good time. I mean, it's killing a bunch of zombies together. How, when is that not fun, right? Exactly. I, w I would yeah. love something akin to, like, like a four-player Resident Evil, where you could, like, split up and take different paths. 
but I just want to point out that one monster held the held the dude up so the other monster could vomit on them. I just wanted to yeah. point that out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow, October. <laughs> October 12th. That's a good I time did. for it. Okay. Yeah. Close. Uh, and, and day one. Pass. There you go. All right. Game I'm in. Pass again. Yeah, that was two zombie game players. Game really is just so incredible. Good lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're going right from game to game. That's that's nice. Yeah, the pacing of this uh, show is pretty phenomenal so far. Yeah. Oh, a first party game. What Ooh. we got here? All right. Is this Death Loop? No. Okay. Oh, Avalanche. Oh, okay. This? Isn't Avalanche the ones you make uh, just cause? I think so. I believe you're right on that. Yes. Yeah, you're right. It is. Okay. The music I, is great. I, I enjoy Just Cause 2. So. I mean, normally we'd have to mute this, but Microsoft said that they acquired restreaming rights for, like, anybody to co-broadcast this, which I deeply appreciate. Thank you, Microsoft. Yeah. I just hope that actually comes through. Co -op. A co-op open world. Open world. Uh, all right. Is it just sort of like a different kind of ju just cause except co-op because you know that's not too bad this looks like a zombie game or something <laughs> oh, i can zombie. see that oh yeah they're just giving that corpse yeah. is there i don't think that's a corpse under there yeah i think that was the guy working on the yeah he, oh, like, it, oh it looks oh it looks not much for a band okay okay so maybe it's more like you run smuggling missions or something like yeah, that yeah smuggling right. missions with each other which mm -hmm. could be cool but I need gameplay. I mean, I, there's no, there's nothing for me to get excited about or not there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves, all right. Okay. I, have heard I feel like this is just kind of always there. Yeah, I was going to say, I've heard that Sea of Thieves really turned itself around after, frankly, yeah. a kind of shitty launch. But I've heard yeah. the same. The launch Lot turned me off now. so much, I just never came back. I was like, oh. <laughs> I feel bad because, like, Sea of Thieves has done nothing and wrong. I mean, other than have a, a shitty launch, like you said, but I just, on principle, it's not what I want from Rare, but that's only because I'm biased because what I want from Rare is a new Banjo. Sea of Thieves did nothing wrong. It's just hard for me to look at it and not think, this isn't Banjo. What if they just announced Banjo DLC for Sea of Thieves? Oh, no, that would be... Oh, that would be depressing. Pirates, a bear, and a bird. <laughs> but no, I've actually heard really good things about how Sea of Thieves has turned out. I feel like I've seen oh. this trailer before. Didn't realize we had company. Oh my oh god, god, no! no. Captain oh, Spell. that's what's going on. Your, your favorite you meth-addled pirate is back. <laughs> and Disney. Because I mean, cool, whatever. Jack I mean, it feels like a, um, in here. a long and time. Not, <laughs> like, it's way late. Damn it, you know, if Disney can give Rare the rights to Jack Sparrow for this rats. game, they can give Nintendo the rights to Sora for Smash. Ah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All I can do is show you the way. From what I hear of this so-called Sea of Thieves... God, why does he walk like that? Why? Like, what is <laughs> it? <laughs> He's emulating, uh, uh... A Legion of Dead, what's his name? Angry Pirates. Oh, yes. And now, one Davy Jones. They're like, act oh, yeah, like they're you're just drunk, all but the you also slept there. on your arms last night. Like, I don't uh -huh. understand Johnny Johnny Depp's <laughs> pirate mannerisms at all. Time to yeah. Use these cannons. A world without the attack of a base. A world I mean, to I mean, be fair, it looks like a pretty fun truth. crossover. Nothing lasts forever. It does, it does. Destroy like, I, I have nothing against... Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. I actually, at, at I one point in my life, oh, I enjoy those it. movies, oh, but yeah. I enjoy all three. Honestly, I, <laughs> I know they have their issues, but, but I enjoy them. Yeah, yeah I do too. There's a second. Three is this? way too much. It's way too much, but I, I enjoy it for that reason. It's, I would just, just say, of, of those movies, Jack Sparrow is my least favorite thing about them. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, really? <laughs> Fair enough. The Sea of Thieves, eh? Bring me that horizon. <laughs> Good, uh, per nice job on the person emulating Jack Sparrow, because... Oh, yeah, they definitely they didn't get Johnny Depp, yeah. <laughs> yeah I do love uh, Bill Nye's uh, Davy Jones, though, mm -hmm. in those Coming movies. Coming so June good. 22nd. You know, that's not too bad. That's that's no? pretty soon, too. For free, too. That's cool. 
<laughs> Becca's live in the chat. Steve, I know what we are playing. There you next go. Month. Entire mainline Yakuza <laughs> series one game pass. Hey, oh man, my uh, oh one of my best friends is losing oh. his mind right now. That's awesome. This, hey, how's it there going? you go. Yakuza Seven on Game Pass. Sweet. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, I already yes. own it, so I'm good. But reputation is now there's nice. no reason not to try it if you have an Xbox. This game is so fucking fantastic. <laughs> oh, so good. I can't wait to get back to it after Integrate and. Uh, <laughs> I love that. Oh yeah, when you uh, summon a pound mate, that's so good. When you yeah, when Tasuka does the phone thing. God, this game is so good, you guys. <laughs> Happy birthday! This trailer <laughs> leans into the best parts yeah, of this, this game. Yeah, this trailer does amazing uh -huh. things. Oh god, I I can't wait to you guys play more of this game. It's so good. I'm looking forward to finally checking out this series. <laughs> today! Hey, hey, today! There you Let's go! Let's fucking go! Nice, nice. Everyone play this game on Game Pass if you have an yes. Xbox. Play oh. Yakuza 7. Oh, it's got, so good. Uh, Battlefield 2042 gameplay. Oh, okay. So I, I I'll just use this, this chance to, seeing, I'll be honest. to gush about Game Pass. Like honestly, like a Xbox Series S is three hundred bucks, and it is worth it just for Game Pass. Like even if you don't buy a game, yeah, that's what you've been saying. I I insist that <laughs> like everybody I know that has Game Pass, nobody nobody goes. I've never heard of a person regretting their subscription to Game Pass. My only like my conflict, I guess, is I feel like owning an LG CX, getting not getting an Xbox Series X would be a waste. Oh you know? no, I yeah, I agree with that one hundred percent. Like if you have right. if you have a high end TV, you should go for the Series X. I'm just saying, mm -hmm. the Series yeah. S is a low entry point into both next gen and the Xbox ecosystem, and I can't right. recommend it enough. Like if you gotcha. if you're not committed enough to buy, and I get it, the Series X is expensive. Um, but I say, this is getting to the next dynamic gen. as hell for a battlefield game. Like the weather change. I was actually going to say the, the environmental effects and the explosion that's yeah. in this look fantastic. I'm also really impressed how vertical this stage is. Like I to just, be able to get on top of those buildings and whatnot. That's I just wish they could crazy. make like a baby town frolic server where people like me that suck at the game yeah, can play with other same. people that just fucking suck. Like <laughs> <laughs> the baby park equivalent of, of battlefield, whatever that yeah, is. Yeah, I I need the I need the you know, person that has to recheck their controls like frequently chaos. Level oh, of skill. Crap. This does look fantastic, though, yeah. in terms of the environmental it effects. Does, this, is why, this is why I, I like Battlefield. It's just, like, insanity. I wow. love the idea of, like, 128 people just in a chaotic oh, battle well, royale. Yeah. yeah. Like this as long week, as you're not the one always coming in 128. Exactly. That's the thing. Like I spawn <laughs> yeah. and then a bullet. Well, goes here's right the thing. It's not one of those things where you die and you're done. You're just right. Oh, I know. I'm. Free. I'm just. I mean, I agree with Ash in in so far as though like every time I've tried to play Battlefield, I spawn in and someone is just killing me immediately. Yeah. Like I don't it live. Can, for it more can than happen. Well, you can seconds. choose your spawn points though, so you can try to avoid those. Oh spawns. yeah, trust me. I know all these things, and I still yeah, get killed. I'm, like I'm same. I I last on average for like three seconds during any spawn in a, in a multiplayer first person shooter. Yep. Experience. Oh come on. I hadn't uh, seen the this, gameplay, but I gotta say this. This looks fantastic. I'm, this looks pretty good. Up. It really does. And again, this is all just goodwill from Bad Company 2 carrying over. Mm -hmm. it, it looks... I mean, honestly, it looks really impressive, and I see the trailer, and I'm like, I want to try this, but I know I'm going to yeah. just suck terribly. <laughs> I know what you mean. Oh, Ooh. Annapurna. So, Annapurna. how was your day? Oh, I'm oh, all about know. Annapurna. I have something oh, oh, the, uh, oh, this uh, game! We're having a baby. Oh, right! I didn't realize they got... I forgot about this game. I didn't they realize they got this, uh, Daisy Ridley and James oh, McAvoy. 12, 2019, yeah, 12 minutes. Yeah, I want to play this so bad. Insane. Me too. What? I was really interested in this. No, and anything Annapurna publishes is oh, usually... August 19th, the August day 19th. before my birthday. It's a lot hey, nice. Is that like right around Kena as well? <laughs> yeah, I think Kena yes. is like August 17th. Uh, real pack. quick, I, I want to mention 24. this. Uh, we've had we've had a few new patrons join. Just a few live audience oh, well. folks. Uh, Yo. So thank you so much for those of you contributing. Hey, Psycho Knights too. Really oh. Thank you so much, oh. those of you who joined. My heart oh, is very crazy. much. The mind is the I hell yes, I was hoping to see this. Oh my god, this looks so good. Yeah, it does. 
I need to go back and play the rest of the first game. I played a little bit of it, I never finished it, but I it's really liked time. it. Yeah. Oh man, Psychonauts, uh... This so, looks great. I feel fortunate my brother, when, when I was much younger, bought me the original Psychonauts on Xbox. And it was like a weird thing where he just saw the cover of the game and was like, maybe Steve would like this and bought it for me. And I felt guilty. So I was like, I have to play it just to show him how much I appreciate him doing that. Uh-huh. And I fucking loved it. Like, I fell in Yay. love with the game. And, uh, this looks so good. It, yeah, it captures this. that feel of the original while I can, you know, obviously making the graphics better. Oh my god. I want this so bad. Yeah. As Ash would say, straight into my veins. I need this. <laughs> And, and this is definitely day one Game Pass, but... Uh, oh, absolutely, but... I will be reaching out to our I'm friends I'm going to pick this up on PC. Yes! Oh, yeah. I, I will be... This, this is a game, if I have my way, we'll do a discussion on this. Like, I hope we can all play this. And, because it is a trip. August 25th. Holy God crap. damn it. No nice. more heroes. 12 what? what is with <laughs> August all of a sudden? Two? What the hell? Right? My, my birthday is going to be lit this year. <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> kidding. <laughs> I mean, all three of our birthdays are going to be released. Uh, oh, yeah. That's true. Yeah. 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 You and August, me and Ash we in September. We can share the stage yeah. with Xbox this year. And Tales of the Rise comes out on my birthday. For 35 years or are just getting to know us, we couldn't be happier to bring you the latest on your favorite games. I like how they're not like, with my good friend, you know, just Howard, going Bethesda, Bethesda, Bethesda Xbox, Xbox. They're they're interspersing them throughout. Yeah, yeah, that's All a good idea. All of our teams are continuing to work on the projects that have been in development since well before we joined the Xbox family. So rest assured, the games you've been expecting and hoping for are still in the works. And today, we're bringing ten more titles to Game Pass Ooh. for a total of thirty there you go, even Bethesda within games. Two. That wow, like every Doom game games, too. Like yeah. Yeah. award winning Doom Eternal. If you're looking for Dang. another reason to play it, God. Doom Eternal will be Game optimized for Xbox Series continues X to blow me and away. The, the, on June 20th. Oh, nice. We're getting ray tracing on Intel. Xbox this for Doom Eternal. Will be they oh, just announced that for PC recently at a CompuTax as well. And on Series well. X, it will offer nice. improved visuals at 60 FPS. With Doom 2016 was so great. I haven't played. Uh, I previewed Eternal for GX, but I haven't played the full game. Up to 120. But yeah, I still need great. to play through the Doom games. Or maybe you're in the mood for an RPG like Skyrim. Which marks its <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> They're, They're like, we're going to sell you yeah. Skyrim we can't celebrate again. It without you. Again, so yeah. Share your favorite Skyrim memories, stories, artwork, and more. I haven't played in on a 120 FPS game yet. I really or want to play Ori in 120. Changing. Ooh, Ori in 120 is dope. Wasteland. But I, I, I will said, say yeah. it's, it's far more. Don't try to sell us on Fallout 76. Just oh, shut up and move on. Storylines, warring factions, unique characters. I still have Fallout 76 in the shrink wrap. Like, my friend bought it for me for my birthday a few years ago, and I'm like. Nah, I'm not gonna open it. Thanks to an incredibly <laughs> welcoming Thanks. and collaborative community. Here's a look at what's coming I don't want to ruin its value. In Fallout 76. <laughs> Mike Capella in our patron chat says, and Skyrim mentioned, got a bingo space. Yeah. <laughs> E3 bingo's the best bingo. bingo. I, I feel bad. Fallout 76 is one of those games that I was just dead wrong about. I was really hyped for it before it came out. I'm like, this is going to be great. It's going to, you know, be one of the most popular online games ever. And then... Yeah. That was bad. Yeah. It kind of just very off the mark. The multiplayer mechanics over Fallout 4, and I think that's why it doesn't work. The fact that people still play it, though, the fact that Bethesda was able to save this game at all, given, you know, its disastrous launch, is pretty amazing. Some people are really stubborn. Uh, for, for those of you asking in, in the patron chat, yes, the person that bought me Fallout 76 is still very much my, my friend. He's my best friend. <laughs> Yeah. And we played the beta together, and we're like, oh, it's rough, but it'll be better by the time it comes out. And it just wasn't. So, yeah. But that year, I did buy him Red Dead Redemption 2 for his birthday, so I definitely won. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did, did you win or did he? Well, he, he won, but I won the gift-giving yeah. contest. You won the gift-giving contest, yeah. yeah. End of the world. Right My best friend and I, has gone our birthdays far. are 10 days apart, so we always make oh, a big, nice. a big deal out of it. I believe that we are now stronger than ever. This is a choice that can never be undone. Okay, then. Eh. Mm. I mean, yeah. yeah, you're not going to I mean, at least it's free Fallout players, yeah. but yeah. 
games are very much with me. You have one chance to make a first impression. Expedition Squad Delta, mm -hmm. report over. Squad Delta, what's going on out there? this? It's so Why did that look so uncanny valley and weird? Yeah, that looked those not eyes. I agree. I really, I thought that was supposed to be like a drone or something until I, I saw what it actually was. That was weird. It feels like this, this could be a remake of an old game with how rough it was. But it's Fallout related because we just saw a Pip Boy on someone's arm. Right. Yeah, those eyes, man. <laughs> that was weird. Pit. I remember them mentioning that before. Pittsburgh. And, uh... Wow, this is Fallout Derek Edition. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. I know there's a pet expansion for, I think, the Fallout Wasteland 3. The Wasteland isn't the only open world playground with an right, amazing sure. community. The Elder Scrolls Online from Zenimax Online Studio has now surpassed 18 oh, yeah. million players and shows no signs of slowing down. 1,300 right people watching, everybody. The new Black hey, awesome. Wow. Thank Thanks for coming you out. Guys are enjoying yeah, thank you, you so much for watching this with us. We've got a lot more to come yeah, in yeah. DSO, like, like Derek said, the conclusion if, uh, to this epic if you like what we're doing here, please consider subscribing. It helps out a ton. It really does. With the release we're, of ESO we're trying very hard to get to 69K. This Tuesday, the game so. will deliver a true <laughs> native experience optimized for the Series X and S. Uh, I've already got Final Fantasy XIV. I'm sorry, my heart. Yeah, my heart. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. So, and PSO I haven't even played is... that in a while, so. Oof. <laughs> I haven't played PS. I wish in I had while, time to play by a while. You mean like three hours? <laughs> yeah. This, I mean, I will say though that this looks good. Like it, it's very pretty, but yeah. Um, Elder Scrolls for me is not a world that I've really ever enjoyed. I, I hate to say that because I know a ton of people love it. I know specifically Skyrim is insanely popular. Um, this just never clicked for me. And same. Yeah. I, so, I'm not a really a big like high fantasy guy. Like like Lord of the Rings, right. for example. I recognize their beautiful, wonderful movies, incredible books. I should say, incredible books, wonderful movies. But <laughs> it's just, I'm not super into the whole high fantasy setting in general, so it just never really Same. did it for me. Same with Skyrim. It's just not really... I would say the closest to high fantasy that I've truly enjoyed is Diablo. Like, mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. love those games, but they are very much the uh, exception, not the rule. With new yeah. rules. And now, nothing Listen, is off the table. This feels like Fortnite Winning just because the random hippo we'll tied to the sub. Yeah, it's really goofy all right. Fighter. And yeah. the movie announcer. Wait. Uh, the heck? I, I already like this. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, me too. <laughs> what is this? What the heck is going oh, on? Oh, man. Oh, that this... poor dog. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> you can play as a corgi with a crossbow. I love whatever this is. I, I love it. I don't even know what it is, and I love it. What is, what is this? Pick your fuzzy. So it's like Smash Brothers, but with weird physics or, on purpose. Uh, What's it called? The uh, Power Stone. Oh yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, brawl with like j janky physics. It, All yeah, guys slash looks... Power Stone. Uh huh. I I like this. I, I do too. This is a nice change of <laughs> you know. Please be a shadow face. drop. I will play this today. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh no, they Stream. killed the band. <laughs> he grabs the mic. <laughs> this. Looks oh god! Great. Into the furnace. Wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm into this. This would be great for a patron stream, an EP stream. Yeah. Oh god, the plungers. <laughs> Some of those hits look brutal. Yeah. They really do. Party animals. Okay. You know that what? looks fun. Pretty cool. Yeah, I, like I mean, it, look, it looks janky as fuck, but it looks fun. I think it's supposed to be janky. Oh, Hades. Exactly. Time for Hades on Xbox. Oh, nice. This was just a matter of time. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'd love to go back and finish this, just play God Mode. I really liked the uh, characterization. Oh, this was great. And the characterization, yeah. The, uh, the voice actor for... Uh, Zagreus reminds me so much of Alucard from the Castlevania anime. They sound so similar. Yeah. Dust2390 in the YouTube chat says, so many Game Pass games announced. Yeah, uh, they said that there yeah. would be 30 games and that 27 of them would be on Game Pass. That's literally 90% of what they're going to show. Yeah. So it, it'd be weird to see a game not on Game Pass, which I think is great. Mm-hmm. 
August Speaking 13th. Of which, this is one of them. <laughs> it does say Game Pass, so there you oh, go. Oh, it does. Console launch exclusive. World premiere. Slower pace. Yeah, it always starts with bang, bang, shoots, and then we get into the quiet, more interesting games with Xbox. Yeah, I kind of like the down-tempo vibe of this one so far. Yeah, same. Man. Like, I know a lot of people probably look at this and go, man, that house is trash. And I'm like, that's that's my house. Yeah, that's a house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a house with kids, man. Um, although it does appear that something bad happened. Oh, you get a puppy. Yeah, uh, so, so, uh, something Ash. apocalyptic. Sorry? I had a puppy. <laughs> oh, I see now, yeah. I'm, I'm actually kind of reminded of, uh, what's it called? The second game from, um, is it Inside? In, I think oh, it, yeah. Inside, uh, by, by the Limbo devs, right? Yeah, yeah. Inside. Oh, this, this looks is, interesting. Yeah, what's going on here? I'm you definitely know, getting that, that vibe. What you want to know what, what vibe I'm getting from this? Uh, fragile from the Wii. Oh, oh like Fragile... Shattered Dreams? Fragile Dreams, sh yeah. Yeah. It, it's got like a weird, like, what the hell happened here kind well, of feel to it. Holy cow, Get Mads, welcome. And hey, also, yeah. thank you. Get it's, Mads is here. It's been a while. Um, yeah, get man. Get Mads yeah. with a $19.99 super chat. Party animals looks hilarious. Hope you guys are doing well, and here's to a good E3. Well, thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, yeah, man. We, we really need to have you back on the show. It's been a while. Yeah, we'd love to have you back. Yeah, man. we really do. Yeah, you know what? Uh, there's there's a Nintendo Direct coming up that I feel you'd be well suited to this talk about. This holiday marks the 20th anniversary <laughs> uh -huh. of Xbox uh -huh. and the 20th anniversary of Halo. Halo. To our millions of passionate fans. Oh, it's time fans, for Halo. Thank you. We wouldn't be Some here without all of you. I, I just love like Our goal how the uh, key art for Halo looks together. like the key art, or for, for Halo Infinite time, looks like the key art from to Combat offer Evolved. Our entire multiplayer it does, doesn't it? Yeah. To all players across Xbox and PC with no barriers. I picked up Halo, Halo just because I got an Xbox be and needed play. a game besides and Jet Set Radio Future. Oh, uh -huh. I think that most people. I ended up falling in love with Halo. I'm excited mm. to be here with Joseph really Dayton. So, so many like drunken late night, like multiplayer matches Halo with friends Evolve, where I would intentionally like just pile Halo everyone in a work hog and like drive us off a cliff. A <laughs> nice. It is so great to have him back with Halo. Thank you, Bonnie. And hey, everybody. That was kind of my like for us. The shooter I had that experience you, with like late Halo night multiplayer nonstop was Goldeneye. And wonder Never played as much Halo, but Goldeneye. Humanity safe so many late nights playing. Odds in a beautiful and mysterious sci-fi world. All right, this we're back is just one part I mean, of the Zeta I'm Halo guilty of this last time, the largest, but I think this looks really nice. We've ever built. Me too. That's what I said last time, and then I yeah, people are like, no, this looks horrible, and I'm like, okay, sure. I'm not going to speak for Halo fans because yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's the same thing with Pokemon fans, you know? Like, I can look at a trailer oh, and be like, God. I think this looks great, I'm hyped, and they'll be like, oh, look at that tree! The heart of Halo <laughs> yeah. is Spartan 117, the Master Chief. I mean, this the looks... Next chapter of the Chief's the story, lighting is really the nice. The, greatest the detail yeah. on, on the Mjolnir but armor is really nice. They're not alone in the fight. And then the stream decides to oh, pause for a moment for me. There we go. Stuck out here. Oh, wow, he's like in zero-G, just floating around. God, my stream keeps like hiccuping. Does that happen to yours? Oh, it does. Uh, for me, it's smooth. Mine's okay. Okay, that's good. Yeah. What can you do on your own? I told you. I... Nice. Man, look how oh, he's just cool. like going through zero G and like with so purpose. He is just. Yeah. Oh my god. I do love how they're like. Just that it's... motion just shows how much of a badass he is. Uh huh. They're like. You're up against a single, uh, an entire army. What can you do? I'm like, have you not seen the other Halo games? That's the whole premise. He's like, this is like the eighth time. It's, it's fine. I'm bored of this by now. <laughs> this is a cool trailer. This is really cool. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie, though. I'd, I'd really like to see gameplay. Like, you give me the UI. Give me the HUD. Give me full gameplay. What right. Happened? Uh, well, there Cortana? you go. Oh, you Broca might you might be a little ahead of us. She's been oh, that's weird. Yeah, I think I'm a little behind. How? Slightly. A couple seconds. 
Because, yeah, I haven't seen of a HUD yet. Not. Did you hit your right head now, or something? Right now, Chief is talking I'm... to Cortana. Don't you remember? Yeah, that's where I'm at, too. My instructions were to enter this installation, imitate Cortana, and lock her down for or retrieval. Or not Cortana. Oh, yeah. Yours <laughs> Cortana imitation. For deletion. I was going to say, I mean, so I don't want to go into you. spoilers, but... Uh, okay, then. If you've played Halo 5, you know that it would be weird to see There's Cortana. something else. On successful deployment, my deletion routine was supposed to complete. Still here. Man, the animation for not Cortana is really Good. impressive, too. Good. Yeah. Like some facial yeah, expressions. We need to find out why. But this wasn't the mission. The missions change. They always do. Are you sure? Oh. 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 He's going to put oh, her okay. on his SD card and be like, yo. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Pop in my head. You know, I hate to be that guy. Of course. But having your you AI on an exposed port on the back of your head is probably not and the best Xbox way to do it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right? Right? And it's multiplayer action at up to 120 frames per second. Whoa. Finally, I'm very oh, nice. happy to wow. announce that Halo Infinite's first free to play multiplayer I think season you guys might be ahead of me. and I'm sure. I'm all story driven plays, campaign will launch together this holiday. Nice. So this is their holiday Hello. game. Yeah. A new kind of I mean, it's about time, really. Yeah. It, but I, I gotta say, and maybe Xbox or maybe Halo fans will have shit to say later, but it looks visually yeah. very impressive. Yeah. Like you said, I would have liked to see some gameplay, which like, we are now, but uh, right. in that in that single player campaign trailer, it would have been nice to see some gameplay. But I really did like that story trailer. Yeah. The story trailer was cool. I like the zip line type of thing that Chief has now. Yeah, that's, um, that's a fun addition. Yeah, that's cool. And the multiplayer, by virtue of the fact that they've optimized it for 120 FPS, is certainly not going to look as good as the campaign. Uh, but it still looks pretty good. Yeah. yeah nice. definitely Halo gameplay. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Halo multiplayer doesn't do a lot for me. Well, competitive multiplayer in general doesn't do a lot for me these days. Right. Um, okay, grabbing the gun like that with the, the hook. That's that was cool. cool. Oh. Yeah, that was pretty neat. The way he zip right. lined up to that Hijacking ship. Hijacking with that. That zip line has some yeah. utility. Yeah, that was awesome. I might try this. I, I, I'm i curious to see if our good friend John is excited well, about this because I know he Yeah, that's what I'm curious about. Uh -huh. Nice. It's looking good. Yeah. Oh, there's yeah. capture flag, of course. I will. I will say that I have. I have been lucky enough to uh, play Halo pre-release since Halo Four, and uh, I do enjoy being like on the servers before the general public and all the people that are good at it get access. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do I feel like a yeah. god among men when it's just journalists, but. Uh huh. <laughs> When, when the general public shows up, I'm like, yep, time for me to bail. <laughs> yeah. Yep, we're getting out of oh, here. Oh, man, I like that samurai armor. Yeah, it is cool. And and making Infinite's multiplayer free to play is just an awesome move. Genius. Yeah, that's that's really compelling. Holiday 2021. Nice. I'm, there I'm there. Hopefully early. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will Game review pass, the hell out of that. Yeah, sounds good. Ugh. Oh, spiders. Already. Ugh. Get Nash out. Or, wait, yeah, was that Lady Demestrio? Or, survived. No. No, I don't believe so. I just saw a, a tall Dark woman in a dress. I'm like, Resident Evil, of course. Uh -huh. I think you guys are slightly ahead of me now. I don't know why that happened, but whatever. At all costs. Oh, they're saying it's Diablo 2. Oh, man. Yes! Sure that's September fun. Yep, 23rd. Sure Let's fucking hey, go! Nice. Oh man, I'm sorry, but I'll be playing this on PC. Sorry, Microsoft. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it makes sense. I, I, make, yeah, that's I'm excited with you. for it, but I can't, I can't play this without a keyboard and mouse. I've not played through all of Diablo sure. 2, so this would be, be a first for me. Ooh, cross progression too. What's your preferred class, Steve? Uh, I almost always play barbarian, just because oh, yeah. that's been like my go-to, but. I mean, I was I also 14, in, uh, so... Yeah, I, I played Monk in uh, 
Diablo 3. Wow, showing the old visuals is such a fucking throwback. Oh god. Eight player co-op, nice. Really? Eight players? I think that's a first, right? Because I thought it was only four before. I, I got really so, yeah. deep into Diablo 2 for the summer of 2000, I think it was. I played a lot of Diablo 2 that summer. Because I, was, I needed something that tied me over until Chrono Cross came out, and Diablo 2 is what I chose, and I got really deep into it. Yep. Hour. But it will be your greatest moment. Oh, man. I cannot nice. wait. <laughs> I know. I, I know how much you love Diablo, man. Mm -hmm. Not Game Pass, go. but it's fair. Raspin Ross says, uh, Cow Leveler Go Home. Yeah, I know. I, I want to see what the cow level looks like. <laughs> I, I will, yeah, be all over that. Captured in engine. These I mean, this already looks fairly impressive, but also Where maybe not my thing. From, from all oh, of us. Oh, Asobo Studio. Why do I feel like do to him? they've been involved with something Can I'm into? Stop it? I, like, I don't know. You might be thinking about, about Team brother. Asobi. No, I'm definitely and thinking I of Asobo. Hmm. I feel like I've seen the logo and I can't remember from where. Oh, they did a Plague Tale. Which this might be a sequel to. Yeah, I think this is a sequel to a Plague Tale. It might be. Which I've not played, but I've heard good things. Visually, this looks a really A lot impressive. of rats. Yeah. Oh my god, my wife would hate this. She hates rats. <laughs> Well, I mean, if you're going to have a plague, okay, that's, that's pretty. pretty important. Right? Man, that landscape is... Looks, yeah. Extremely yeah. realistic looking. Yeah. I mean, that close-up on that on that character's face, too, was was extremely uh, impressive. Mm -hmm. But okay. Plague Tale plague Innocence tale Requiem. Plague tale Requiem. Not for cool. me, probably. I heard, I heard good things about Plague Tale, so... Me too. And Game Pass, there you go. <laughs> okay, Far Cry 6. Oh, Far Cry 6, yeah. Oh. Yeah, this is the other thing that typically yeah, happens with uh, Xbox press conferences. We see games we already saw earlier I at E3. Yeah. Which, what exactly is your plan? I mean, not bad. Like, hold hands. I, Ubisoft has sold me on this game by virtue of the fact that I liked the last two games in the series quite a bit. Uh, right. But the trailers really do nothing for me to sway my opinion. I mean, the, the trailer we saw during the Ubisoft Forum certainly drove home how evil this villain is, like how True. fucked up this guy is. So that, they did a good job of characterizing him right off the bat. It's oh, like, see, yeah, and, and you do play as the girls we saw in the trailer. Is one of them or both of them? I, like I said, I think that it's both, but I think it's, you know, if you're single player, you play as one of them, and then your co-op partner plays as the other one. Taking out a high-value target, I have just yep. what yeah, you need. Far, far Cry. <laughs> the thing I really like about Far Cry games is that they have more of an emphasis on stealth than most first-person You want to blow shit up? One Cortez at your service. I mean, but you can also do shit like this. Which, to be fair, <laughs> when I play co-op, this Please. is Have a I tank play. with a flamethrower. There you go. Yeah. He really likes that knife. <laughs> Wait a second. Who brought the rooster? Hey, whatever you need to get the job done, Danny. They they always have some what? kind of wacky what animal the... buddies. I love it. You, you have an attack rooster? Okay, that's you. Oh, the puppy. That that's pretty cool. Get the puppy. Uh, you haven't this? seen that puppy? That, they they advertised the hell out of that puppy, Ash. Oh, uh, no, I haven't seen yeah, it. Oh, you haven't? No. Yeah, he's, he's in a, like wheelchair. In a wheelchair. wheelchair. Oh, I dog. didn't know. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah, I haven't seen that. He's cute. Yeah. I'm in. Okay. Cool. Man, the back half of the year is filling up. Yeah, it really yeah, is. It is. And we haven't even seen it, uh, the uh, Nintendo Direct yet. Oh, oh that's right. Mickey oh, Shadow, hey. Uh, looks like it's uh, Nugget. The puppy's name is Nugget. Oh, I, cute. 
Anytime I see, like, a colorful game in an Xbox yeah. presser, I get excited. Same. Yeah, it makes me happy, too. <laughs> I'm already looking at the, like, the look of this. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh, it feels like it? an Amy game. This is Looks beautiful. like a B game. Yeah, what is this? And there's okay, a gun. This is the type oh, of game Amy oh, will look at me like, I want... Maybe. This oh! She's cute! I've not- I've heard a lot of people like Slime Rancher, but I've not oh, tried it myself. My kids love this game. I've not heard of Slime Rancher, but I love what I'm looking at right now. Oh man, Slime Rancher is adorable as heck. I- Yeah! Uh, the original is on Game Pass, I think. Uh, this appears to be a new one. Yeah, I'm gonna guess sequel. This is so cute! God. And it's just beautiful. God! Yeah. This is the kind of game that makes you feel good to play it. It seems yeah. like it, yeah. I just love the colors. Yep, so Slime Rancher here. 2, baby. I am nice. hyped. No. Please A be weekly soon. new adventure begins. Cool. <laughs> ah, next year, but that's fine. I, I love it. I, I waited for this to enough. really take off, and um, Dragon Quest makes its own. <laughs> uh, Sketch of MPM is Square's press conference right after this. Yeah, not right after, oh, but yes. It's, it starts at 12.15, so we'll be, of Welcome course, reacting. There'll be a brief intermission, yeah. yeah. A It'll be a separate Let's stream. Go. Yes, it is a separate stream. This looks cool. Yeah. Snowboarding is... I love I anything that takes place in snowy, icy environments. Give it to me. You know, the funny thing is, Ooh, like... This, this is cool. This isn't the Ubisoft game we saw yesterday, but it's, it's no. similar no. enough. But it has less of a chaotic vibe to it. I, I dig yeah. it, though. I, Honestly, it just makes you want... See, this looks fun, but it just makes me want a new SSX. Yeah, with that too, SSX or 1080. Oh, this, love this looks nice, the, the, the thing I'm really impressed by is the snow deformation tech that they're using. Yeah, it's good. I would, I know, I love this music at one, and this just seems like the kind of game I would really enjoy. Just chill out to. Oh, this looks great. It, it does feel soothing in a way. Yeah. Yeah, it's relaxing. Oh, this music's great. <laughs> oh, yeah, no I want to play this. Up. Yeah, this looks really uh, slick. Yeah. Oh, no, I played so might, much We might have to get you an Xbox, my friend. I know, yeah, exactly. man. I really want to play this straight up. Shredders. Four writers by writers. Oh, man. All right. Blothering I mean, I mean, it's such an easy mark for snow, like, you know, snowboarding, anything <laughs> snowy. December. There you go, December. That, that makes cool. sense. And and it's free on Game Pass, so man. Jeez. Microsoft game Pass is killing it with Game Pass. What is this? I don't this know, it's all black. What? I mean, but you got a gun, so <laughs> there's something I know. There's something dark. It's a very different Lego game. What a tonal shift. This is weird. What is the this? world? What's that the music? Is this? Yeah. The music this... does not fit the tone of what's going on on screen. No. This is so weird. This game I can't make sense of. Yeah, I don't even. What the heck is happening? What? All right, I'm not gonna lie, they're losing me on this one. I mean, it's it's I mean, I like how weird it is. And we're, and we're yeah. sure Microsoft said that they cleared things. <laughs> Yeah, they did. They said. Okay. Nope. Sorry. What the heck is that? You, you failed. That that one oh, didn't work part. for me. It started. I mean, out... I'm intrigued by it, but I just don't know what I was looking at. I feel like it, they just took a... Martinez is uh, excited for Atomic Heart. I don't know what is that. I'm intrigued. I'm I'm intrigued, not like not but to play it, but I'm intrigued. I was confused. I was too confused by what I was watching. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. What is this? Speaking of confusing things. Okay. Phoenix City donor base download. Okay, so like a 2D. Hey, what is this? I mean, yeah. it's it's quite pretty. Like, yeah. For, yeah. you know, an interesting pixel art. Ooh, what is this? I mean, but it's weird because you do see what looks to be... Oh, no, that's still 2D pixel art. 
Nice. Looks like maybe they rotoscoped it. Like the animations are a little bit. fluid. I'm definitely intrigued by this. Yeah. This is a good look. I like this. Yeah, but the question is, what do you do? What do you actually? Yeah. What, what's the gameplay looking like? I almost thought my first thought was almost honestly almost uh, Katana Zero, but it's definitely not. Oh uh, yeah, I can see. Ooh, I like this music. Man. Okay, so combat. It almost feels like a. I mean, like I, I'm using the term cyberpunk to describe the yeah. style, but not the actual game. Not the game, yeah. Yeah. We're playing. I color me intrigued on that one. Please. Like I'm intrigued. Right. Yeah. I saw I'm just enough to where I want to see yeah. more. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean anything with pixel art in general, you, you got me at pixel art. Mm. So yeah, I'm sure. definitely intrigued. Well I played uh Narita Boy on Game Pass and I did not enjoy that at all. <laughs> okay, I I love that trailer. The trailer was awesome, but the yeah. I wasn't sure how the actual game shook out. Yeah, trailer was oh, great, uh... gameplay was eh. Oh, grounded! Like an update on grounded. Yeah. I have played oh, quite this a bit is the of one, this. this is the one with the arachnophobia toggle, right? Yes. Yeah. Nice, yeah, I love that. Flying things. Every game with spiders should have that. <laughs> this is, it still is not for me though. I can't deal with all the big giant bugs. It's just not for me. It gives the people what they've been asking for. Like okay. No, seriously, a lot of people want to sit. Pets for when you get sick of your human companions. <laughs> and of course, mushrooms. But not those kinds. I like the humor. We've also got yeah. something that literally no one was asking for. I couldn't like not the notice when he uh, when the when the kid pet their She's pet so that was, wasn't actually touching the oh. character model. Oh God, no! Never playing this. Nope. Mode. Oh, even her bluff oh. scares the sh out of us. Watch this. Oh, there, okay, that's what it looks like. That's way better. Go big. Oh. Or never. Yeah, Go this home. is. I don't know. I hate I've... bugs and spiders too much oh, to ever play this. Oh, it looks like we added achievements too. Nice. Eh. So I I played a lot of this game in early access, and I felt like it was okay. And nothing I saw now makes me want to come back. Mm -hmm. It's fine. Yeah. Or Among Us. Uh, I want to play course. Among Us on PS5, and that's the only place I want to play it. Why? Uh, just the voice chat being on the Ooh, controller. Ooh, 15 player lobby. Oh, right. Nice. Oh, nice. 15 the, uh, players, that's awesome. PS5 version has that uh, ratchet costume, too. Oh, that's true. 15 players is pretty massive, I think, actually. Every time I Dark. see this, I just think of uh, Lady Pelvic just going nuts. Nice. Because there's Dark been a couple Arceus. times where you're... We, we've uh, gotten a bunch of people in, in it, but it's like, ah, we got too many. We're mm -hmm. too, there's too many people interested, not enough room. Dark Arceus and Aries in the chat is saying, LMAO, oh. the, the Arachnophobia filter. It's made for people like me, I gotta you say, get, you Oh, hey, oh nice. Chronicle. Hey. Did not expect to see this here. Me neither. No. Yeah, my the attention. art is fantastic. Oh, yeah. I did not get a chance to ba back this, but so now let's see. Oh, I love that design. It mm -hmm. definitely has that Kickstarter trailer edit vibe to it, though. Like, with yeah, the rotating absolutely. around 2D assets. Uh huh. But goddamn, look at this good game. Good 2D assets. Oh my. This. Oh, that looks, looks good. Great. That looks like a PS1 RPG just in high def. Yep, that's exactly. Yeah, it sure does. This is more of. Look at this. the Shark Man. I love it. Oh my god. I am into this. This is basically HD 2D. Yep. Oh my god. Oh. Whoa, this looks oh, great. Holy crap. Wow. That that facial animation for that, that uh, attack was great. That was This is cool. Far that better than was I expected. Awesome. See, same. All right, I'm down. Yeah. Oh, I'm wait, down. what's this? Oh, another game. An action Whoa. game. Okay. Oh, that's, that's oh, it's oh, in, let's in, fucking in go. Universe. Okay. 
I'm they're they're Hell pulling yeah. wow, a uh, blood stain with three for they're pulling a blood stain where they have like yeah. a, a, a smaller game to hold people over, but it gives you a vibe. That's it's awesome. It's gonna be a while yet. That they both look great, but especially hundred heroes. Down for that. What is this? Holy crap! Oh, this is uh. God, we saw this game oh. previously somewhere. Uh, yeah, various people in our live audience, page chat, are saying this is our first 2023 game. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Still, what a game! I mean, looks so good. Looking, oh. looking like that this early, I'm I'm yeah. there for it. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh wow, the ascent, July 29th. I mean, that's right. That's what it is. I'll check that out when it comes out, but I don't anticipate mm. that I'll love it. Mm -hmm. Same. Because he says, uh, I gotta say, this conference has been much better than expected. I agree. It's good yeah. stuff. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. History Doing fairly well with this. Us. What is this? This is Flight Simulator. Oh, I want to play this. This no. feels like Flight Simulator. Oh, it's not. Oh, it's not, okay. <laughs> I feel like it. when you said this is Flight Simulator on chat, someone was like pulling out a sword. I'm like. Oh, oh I, I think I'm a couple seconds I didn't behind. see the sword yet. Sword yet. So. Yeah. <laughs> They're just like, we're going to fly. <laughs> I don't know, I saw the Great Wall of China and other things. I'm like, okay, uh, cool. No, that makes sense. Oh, this is pro. It looks like Age of Empires. Oh, oh, yeah, not for me at all. I'm going to go. No, I, no, I don't know. I'm just guessing thing, Age of yeah. Empires. Yeah. Not my jam. Where would you go? What I mean, but clearly it, it's there, many there people's jam. Fans how of long this. And yeah. It looks cool, like in terms of just visual presentation and stuff like that, but this isn't my kind of game. Not even a little. Same. Yeah. Yeah. I used to like, I used to play RTSs. I haven't played them in a long time. Same. Yeah, this uh, has to be Age of Empires. Bright in our YouTube chat says, this is by far the best Microsoft showcase I've seen in a long time. I agree. This is actually... Yeah. Pretty, pretty great showing so far. Yeah. Um, quick reminder for those of you, we are uh, fully Patreon funded. If you want to find out more about how you can support us, patreon.com slash gvgaming. Or if uh, that's not your speed, uh, liking, subscribing, we would appreciate it so much. We're we're pushing towards, uh, what is it, 68,000 right now. And if we could, yeah. we, we would love to be able to break that number. So uh, I, if I know you're if new here, be... yeah. Okay. We begin by you enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I know. I have a lot of friends that be really into Age of Empires. And we see a quiet, nice, peaceful. Hey, got a uh, five dollars super chat big. from Rubberman two hundred two saying, no. "Can't wait for GVG Something out of context to share Derek going way. flight simulator as the guy is pulling out his sword." Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That would be one of our Thank more you very awesome much, out of context Say moments. To it it really yeah, would. I know that's true. What is this though? Something this looks interesting. And for no reason. Yeah. Oh, yeah. People running. Oh wait. Uh, I mean, it, it looks like we're on kind of like a stinger or everything seem cool. something because and these games are very tonally different numbers. that we're seeing in this. Uh, uh -huh. Yeah, I think it's all the same like game. A, is it? I think it might oh, be. Oh yeah, you might be right. Yeah. Thing. Some kind of sci-fi action game, sci-fi shooter. Sure. Oh man, this is clearly Final Destination from Smash. Look at all now these blue crystals. <laughs> and it does look like that, you're right. But only the silhouette, because the developers haven't finished the design. Some sort of being for very Smash. Cool. The developers the haven't finished the design. Or finished any gameplay that's actually ready to show. Andrew B <laughs> says they thought it was Flight Sim 2 before the uh, sword was pulled out. I can see why, the Great Wall of China, everything, yeah. Oh, shit. The Outer Worlds 2? Oh, well, that's nice. huge. Expect that to be this. That's okay. Huge. I'm. I, I tried to get into the outer worlds. It didn't work for me, but uh, didn't do it for you. Yeah. That that face is haunting. Good lord. Yeah. That smile. Oh, Marshall with a uh, Canadian one dollar ninety nine cent super sticker. Just a thumbs up. Hey, back at you. Thank yeah, you so thank much you. for being thank here you. with us. Yeah. And thank you, all of you, for being here with us. We have f uh, almost 1,500 people. Thank you all wow. so much for spending your thank morning you. with us. Yeah, thanks. And uh, reacting to this with us, E3, everybody. day two hype. I, yeah. I want to say Flight Simulator again, but I'm not <laughs> <laughs> I, know. I know there's a plane. And the, but... Yeah, you don't want to say it again. Uh, this this could be Flight Simulator for Xbox. We've been expecting that be. for a while. Right. And it certainly seems I think, like... I think it might be. It, it would really, be a hell of a mind no, fuck no, if it this, wasn't this, at this, this point. Can't be it. <laughs> I've, I've been wanting to play Flight Simulator since the first time I saw it at whatever conference they revealed it at a few E3s ago. I'm just... I don't know. I love the it idea. Is, it's so beautiful looking. 
It is a and gorgeous game, but it is, it is just That's too advanced for me. Like, I tried to play it. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, I got Game Pass, so I installed it on my PC, and I was like, I just want to pull a trigger and then go up into the sky. Like, I don't want to yeah, set just, levers wanna... and stuff like that. I was like, I'm not good at this. Man, is it pretty, though. Sure. So, yeah, that's just, I, I'm the same way, Steve. I would want there to be some sort of casual mode where I can just pick it up and just fly around and not yep. have to, like, fuss with all that, for sure. Just God, so we can have the sound bite. It's Age of Empires. <laughs> nice. Uh, Rubberman202 with a $2 super chat says, clearly this is the next Age of Empires yeah, game. Yeah, I told you. Yeah. You, you read our minds. Yeah. This uh, is beautiful. It God, really it is. is. Uh, this is uh, the Xbox version. Holy damn, does it look good. Yeah, yeah really. This is... <laughs> oh, man, I, I love this. Love uh, this game. Tech Tech Trab with a $1.99 cent uh, super sticker uh, just says like Vibes. I didn't even know that was a super sticker. Thank Holy you. Me neither. Awesome. July 27. I love that. Uh, secondly, John Comey with a $5 super chat says, Going into work soon, but loving the stream so far. Are you guys going to be streaming oh, the other conferences? If so, yep. I'll be sure to join in. Yes. Hell yeah, we are. Uh, yep, if you check did. our Twitter, twitter.com slash gvgofficial, uh, we have a full schedule posted there of what we will be reacting to and when. But the next one is a Square Enix Presents today at 2 p.m. Pacific. Is that right? No, 12.15. Or 12.15. Wow. Yeah. It's way earlier in the day than I thought. 12.15. <laughs> right. So in an hour, yeah. essentially. Yeah. So Square yeah. Enix is 12.15, and then we'll be reacting to the Future Games show at 4 p.m. as well. Yes. So we got two more to react to today. Yep, yep, yep. Looking uh, forward to Square, though. Oh, I'm, I'm so hyped for the Square Presents. Ooh. Uh, okay. Brian Carmago, 64, with a great question in the chat, says, uh, What exactly is AUDEN Chronicles? Uh, is it a new and are these new entries? AUDEN Chronicles is a new series that is uh, based well, is like a spiritual successor to the Sui Kodan series. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's a brand new franchise, but just looking at it, it's hype. This is Forza. Yeah, oh, so I was Forza. like, this is beautiful. What is it? Okay. I am Makes down sense. for this. I'm, I'm already into this. I love Forza. You guys know uh, me. Arcade Racers. Real, realish, uh, Square Enix is presenting at 315. That's I'm on Eastern as well. So. Yeah, sorry. Eastern yeah. Standard well, Time. 15 Pacific, 315 Eastern. Yeah. Don't worry, in September I'll be in oh, Mountain Pines. So we'll just have three different people in three different time zones. Oh, yeah. God. Um, this does look very pretty. I Man, love Forza. if this is a brand new Forza built from the ground up for Series X, that would be dope. But I'd be yeah, happy yeah, if this is just DLC, too. It's not like this Horizon looks 4 looks looks bad. I want to play this. For me, like, Xbox is like the, the Forza machine for me. I love these games well the horizon games not so much the main motorsport series but the horizon series i love this feels like horizon more than it does yeah yeah it does i mean the impression i'm getting is that this is open world you know yeah definitely yeah look at that dust cloud uh-huh i want to play this as an arizona uh... that dust cloud just gave me ptsd like <laughs> if you've never driven in a dust storm like that it's fucking terrifying Oh, I bet it yeah, is. Yeah, I was just thinking of Fury Road. Oh, yeah! Oh, drive Horizon Drive, drive baby! November? Nice. Wow. That is... Wow. And we do need to get Ash Xbox. Microsoft. In, in my fucking veins, man. Come on. I need that. I might, uh, that that's that what makes me really want to like get a Series X. I'm not even going to lie. Games. And I can't That's wait like at the same time as Pokemon what and uh, yeah. what else is coming out. Horizon uh, is known for fun. That I'm also really interested in November. Uh, this year, the Horizon Festival arrives in beautiful Breath of the Wild, too, obviously. Mexico. <laughs> this yeah. is the largest and most diverse. Yeah, Forza Horizon 5, more than anything Horizon else, game. now makes me want to run no right out and get an Xbox Series X. And the stunning mm -hmm. AMG. Oh, I want to play that so badly. That's going to be hard for me to resist. In unparalleled detail and with ray tracing in Forza Vista. At this, and I have played a ton of Forza Series Horizon consoles. 4 on my Series X. This looks so much better. I've invited along yeah. some of the team to help give you a taste of Mike some Capella, of the amazing Microsoft content Wizards and Ashes that's waiting for you in Forza Horizon 5. I mean, I, I'm still over Please here thinking Bill, Horizon 3 Maddie, on my Xbox Sierra, One S looked Don really good, but Forza that team. this is incredible. Hey, hey guys, what's up? Hey everyone. Hey, what's up, Mike? And we also have Abraham with us as well. Oh, cool! We get awkward co-op. Oh man! I mean, that's the yeah, cool of these so things awesome. too. 
I know, but yeah, I wasn't right. sure if we were able to get it digitally. We've been working on. Uh, we begin in the Matt Barnes says this doesn't look like Horizon. We're talking about Forza Horizon, not Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, though. Look, look at the reflection oh, yeah. and the lighting. And this looks so good. Look at the, the water on the windshield, or on the yeah. camera, I should say. There you are. Oh, the water drop looks like... Mm, I want to play this. I know, right? Doesn't get much better than this. I might, I might need to get with all the stuff they're announcing. I might need to get an expansion card for my Series X to put more yeah, games on the damn thing. Between this and Game Pass, this might be what what gets me to run out and get a Series X. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, this. I mean, plus I, I feel like this is the type of game that if we can, we gotta review it together. Horizon has always been multiplayer is such a big part of Horizon for Oh, definitely. Yeah. Let's go and see what some of our other players are up to. <laughs> Waffle the King Xbox with a four dollar ninety nine cent super sticker, every last which I think is like a lemon right person dancing. <laughs> yeah. on these I don't even know what that is, but I love the it. Thank yeah, you, Waffle thank King. Thank you. But there are no tricks. This is in game. I do love Maddie Super is Wow! Of Holy AMG shit! One yeah. In Mexico's lush living desert. This looks so the ridiculous. Place to meet up with friends and head out for a drive. Thanks to the next Thanks. man. I, I might need to run out and buy like a steering wheel. <laughs> uh -huh. And it looks like Matty has been joined by some other members of as, the As team. good as it feels on a controller, this is next level. Yeah. Let's I leave really Maddie for a moment play this. and head out to the coast and meet the X, The Series X doesn't, the controller doesn't Don have like haptics, does it? Because I'm just no. imagining this being with those type, type of packages. Oh man, if we had haptic triggers like the DualSense, this would be nuts. Right? I know. With love. Speaking of, hold up, Dom. This also just makes me think of a, of oh, a 4K hey, Ridge Racer. I wish. This is a mural by <laughs> oh, Mexican I wish. artist. Fabi Maybe Tuesday. Rueda. Maybe Tuesday. Just one of the Maybe. many beautiful, I, not beautiful get my pieces of up, Mexico. I, I would love you'll that. find all over Forza <laughs> Color Hurts with a $4.99 super chat just says, car go fast. Yeah, but you know what? <laughs> there's something There's something really fun about these cars. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just, just racing games are so fun. I appreciate a good arcade, arcade racer, and this definitely leans yeah. more into the arcade side. Check out this geology God detail. damn. Implemented with precision accuracy using photogrammetry data captured like, on that looks like a photograph. Yeah, it does. It does. Volcano. The entire world has been recreated at this level of detail. And, and driving to the lava. In her favorite off-road buggy. The volcano Sierra and friends are exploring is the highest point ever in a Horizon game. Oh, I, to the I power just have to play this. I have to. <laughs> I yeah. just love this. I, I do agree direction. with uh, Ditto uh, in our in distance, Ditto you M. Just You're just Ditto M to me. <laughs> anyway, in our patron look. chat that says they need the 4K footage for Guanajuato. this. Yeah. Is one yeah, of the I want to put this on my TV and later. watch this it's back. It's a colorful, yeah. undulating city full of vibrant I, I love you, Ditto. Tronic it Entertainment has a sprawling Expo. network of tunnels. <laughs> and these That's just word salad, though. Overlapping streets. I mean, as well as looking good, it plays great, too. As we see here, as Don is challenged in Horizon's open world battle royale, The Eliminator. Oh, apparently it's a battle royale because While it's saying about the arena shrinking? Race, the rest of our players are still out exploring this diverse open world. All right. Let's head north to the canyon. The horizon oh, Jasmine ah. Rusky is says, uh, wow. Guanajuato, it looks so nice. So I'm guessing HDR that's a native, so that's rig, pretty cool. We captured 24-hour shoots of real Mexican skies at 12K resolution. That's Thanks so to the cool. Series consoles, <laughs> these photorealistic skies result in oh, okay. lifelike His grandpa, lighting that their grandpa is from uh, Guanajuato. It looks accurate. That's Making amazing. Making feel like you're really there. This is just, I, I want again. this so badly. He's joined by Abraham <laughs> uh, and some other members of the team. Uh, Matt Barnes with a two-pound uh, super chat AI says, thanks for good vibe reaction this E3. Well, thank you for being here. Uh, without you. you guys, we have nobody to react together. with. So. Exactly. You're the whole reason we're uh, here. You're the whole reason we're here. Thank you so much. And Bill and the rest of our players. This lighting, lighting is a bit excessive. <laughs> I, I feel like they're going a bit long on this, but I'm also just loving watching this game in rainforest. A Horizon and I kind of get it. Like this is start. the first game Fort that is probably going to release that shows off what the series so X can intelligently do. prompts the series. Right. Yeah, I agree with that. Bill accepts, and they, they, they need their ratchet. With their GPS <laughs> they really do. Right, with that they Horizon do. Yeah. Arcade mini game starting soon. All of our players are coming together. Man, this mini game. Oh, nice. Wait. Mm, yeah, this is going to get me a series X straight up. It just is. Ooh, over this way. Got to catch up to you guys. 
I just I, I can't between that and Game Pass, I can no longer hold out. As many as they can. Yeah. Okay, go up here to the left. I don't I don't have to feel the need for it as much as you do, Ash, but I do I can No, I understand. There's some people in the houses. I had a friend who like super into arcade. It looked fun, but it just was like you know the team got those No, I totally get it. We're going over to the stadium because I have one more thing to show you. Oh my god, I need what? a key, but I don't want to stop watching. This is Event Lab, the incredible <laughs> this new is tool fun. That That's cool. This is, this is cool. I like that they're kind of game making some yeah. silly experiences. modes, you know? Me too. Yeah. I like this. Right down to the fundamental rules of the game. I wish they'd just be like, since no one's making a new burnout, we also have a crash. Uh -huh. This oh, looks this cool! That does ah. look cool. Forza Horizon 5 is the Steve largest, Bowling needs to most play Forza fun, Bowling. and most beautiful Hard open agree. world we've ever built. <laughs> And it will truly be an You know that car would have been on stage if it was a real... Oh, 100%, yeah. Pass, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty November jealous. Thank Forza Carver so Smash. I'll see you all There's in Mexico freaking shark later fin. this year. I cannot wait for this. Oh, man, that looked amazing. So that arena is actually you Team created. Team Xbox is yeah. on a mission yeah. to bring the joined community of gaming to everyone on the planet. That's why you, the gamer, are at the center of everything we do. Today, What's we up, showed Phil? you 30 games. 27 of them will be available on Xbox Game Pass. Oh, we might be finishing off now, soon. Like, through the yeah. end of the year, yeah. you can look forward to back-to-back -to -back monthly releases landing day one on Game Pass, <coughs> led by five new titles from Xbox Game Studios, as well as highly anticipated games like Back for Blood, 12 Minutes, and The Ascent. And as we look ahead to next year, I'm inspired by the creativity of Bethesda and Xbox Game Studios. We showed you the highly anticipated RPG Starfield coming exclusively to Xbox. But we also have some of the industry's yeah, best you RPG it, but storytellers show it. <laughs> working yeah. on Avowed, Fable, The Elder Scrolls Online, Fallout 76, The Outer Worlds 2, and Elder Scrolls 6. Definitely giving some lip pings and lip service. We unveiled a stunning <laughs> yeah. multiplayer mode for the world's most beloved shooter in Halo Infinite. Sketch NPM, we don't need a recap. I kind of need a recap because there's a lot of this stuff sort of fading, phasing together for yeah, It's nice to have the recap. I kind of appreciate it. Perfect Dark and Doom. Oh, Perfect Dark. We premiered the most know, epic see it. open world mm. racing game, Forza Horizon 5. The fact that they mentioned it makes me think it's not going to be the one more thing. Of Mexico in a game right. built from the ground Yeah, I feel like there is a one more thing gen. here somewhere. While the team oh, yeah. at Turn 10 is hard at work I, mean, I, I am happy we got Psychonauts Forza 2. Motorsport. Same. Our growing family of 23 studios is devoted to advancing the medium we all love. I need to go to the bathroom. I just need him to stop talking. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to leave because I feel like something's coming and up. And that's because of uh, you. Wow, Kurotama oh, cool with a $40.69 and super you find <laughs> nothing. Just a, just a donation. Yeah, just, thank, thank, you. Wow. thank you. Also, thank you so much for my God. I mean, we, Together, I, I did forget my trademark. We all make nice. Xbox the best well, Thank you so much way. for the uh, donation. We appreciate Before you. Thanks go, for hanging out with us. Thank you this very much. One more thing. Oh, one more thing. Take a one look more thing. Here we go. This brand new original. Right, what, what, where are they going to go? The arcane team at Bethesda, the brand studio the that created Prey and Dishonored. Who makes Arcane created something new for them, an oh, okay. open world immersive shooter that you can play alone or with Egg your Roll friends. Egg Roll Twenty XD6. And I like get Starfield, the Twenty XD6 reference. I appreciate any strong bad fan there is out there. I want to be the guy too. Right, they got another Xbox exclusive. exclusive. So she's got some kind of telekinetic powers, some kind of mechanical augments, looks like. Something on her hand. Interesting boots. <laughs> or po post apocalyptic. Hey, Dove, anything interesting? This is too dependable. 25 centimeters. Dramatically elongated. Burned out corpse of some type of monster. Yeah. yeah. Come on, make yourself useful. Yeah, dude, the talks to birds. <laughs> Always so, has to be one of those. Uh, that was fun, right? Is That's this? your cue, mate. Sleep tight. Yep. 
Uh, Mike F with a one dollar ninety nine cent super chat says, "Hey, Stinko man." I think that's the uh, artist, musician. Ah, uh, got it. <coughs> I like the cast. Yeah. Oh. Oh, a vampire. Un. Featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. <laughs> Honestly, that dude kind of looks like Drake of the 99 Dragons, which just makes me laugh. How they got into this shit. Is the in the field in Redfall, Massachusetts. Behind me, we are witnessing clear signs of cult activity as the locals engage. Hey! We got cults. I have to say, this isn't quite grabbing me. No. Not so far, because I yeah. don't know what kind of game it is. I, well, I think they yeah, said we it's like, an, like a team. Open world, shooter, single player, right? or team based yeah. shooter, yeah. Could, from the guys that did what Dishonor. That? Oh, Pray. Alright, I will be right back. I can't wait. Alright. All right. <laughs> Just neat games. Give me a chance. Oops. Oops. That good. Oh, <laughs> this, nice. Good thing she's so uh, susceptible to stabs. Jacob. Right. Sound design might be creepy. Yeah, it seems like it. I'm definitely like I'm into the visuals and like you said, the sound design's great. I'm just not quite sure about the gameplay. Yeah, and it's just not really like it doesn't like, seem unique yeah. yet. It's just like, yep, we've seen this before. Just a nice trailer. Right. I do like the character designs. And her power seems like the coolest to me. Yeah, it does. Like some sort of Green Lantern type thing. Like it's like a weird mix of like I'm I'm interested but I'm also not. It's weird. It's like a weird mix. I guess we found out who the burned out corpse is gonna be. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Her, see her reloading. Look at that. She's yeah, she is the cool. best. She's definitely she is the, the best. Freaking best. Yeah. Rubberman yeah. 202. Thank you very much for the two dollar donation. Says so. It's like Left for Dead but with vampires. Be specific. Yeah. Blood. Looks like yeah, it. Yeah. There you go. Pretty much. And strawberry. Sun's coming up. Thank you, Rubberman. Thank you so much. I feel like I didn't miss a whole lot. <laughs> More CG. Not too I mean, much. Cool good. moments, but we still don't have any have idea how it actually plays. Would you want to go back to normal? Telekinetic. Yeah, it was like I was telling Derek. It was like a mix of like I'm I'm into it, but I'm also not. It's like a weird yeah. Yeah, like it seems I love like an the character interesting design. premise, but I think what I want to see from announcements like this is gameplay. You know, something. Right. Um, exactly. But I do agree with Becca's live in our patron chat. Like, I like the characters. I wouldn't mind seeing a yeah. show with these characters. Yeah, I love the designs. Mm -hmm. That has a very last minute graphic <laughs> feel to People that graphic. versus uh, these four uh -huh. versus vampires. All right, sure. Oh. Oh, okay. This is this is like the wrap up video. Yeah. Yeah. Thing. This is the hype yeah, reel. So yeah. You know, overall, some slow bits, which is always going to happen, just depending on your taste, but pretty good. For me, that was one of the stronger Xbox conferences, I would say. Yeah. yeah. I enjoyed it. I, I give this a solid B plus. And I mean, hey, it, it got me to, you know, because I'm going to pull the trigger on an Xbox Series X now, thanks to Forza, Bring so it got me. There you go. Yeah. I mean, it, it definitely uh, was an effective presentation, I think. Yeah. And Psychonauts. I, I can't believe I even forgot oh, that yeah. was there. Psychonauts, too, looks incredible. Mm hmm. Like, it felt like one of those things where, like, you might not be into everything they showed, but the ones that they did show that you're into, you're really into. Yep. I agree with right. that. I, I might go as far as to say this is the best uh, Xbox conference I've ever been part of. Like, as far as I the can't ones I've the others, I'm going to go with, sure. Oh, yeah, Party Animals. That's 
God, that first look at Auden Chronicles as well. Yeah, Auden Chronicles is holy hell. That looks so good for being so far off. I mean, hell, it looks good if you Auden Chronicles look fantastic. Yeah, if they told me they were shadow dropping it, I I would have no nitpicks about what I saw. So yeah. I mean, I don't want to qualify it with for how far away it is. It just looks great. Period. Right. <clears throat> Yeah, Forza 5 was probably one of my highlights, though. Forza 5, oh, Psychonauts 2. Yeah, slime uh, Rancher 2 was a nice uh, surprise. I've never Black... heard of Slime Rancher before, and it was just so cute. Black Ninja with a $2 super chat says, Great event. I would be hyped if I was an Xbox owner. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I am an Xbox owner, so I'm super hyped. And it sounds like Ash probably, you know, has... has... I've become one. Yeah, it sounds like he's going to oh, become gonna... one after this. So, yeah. And I think that's... Also, I'm loving this Hyper Potion desk music here. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. Yeah. Yep, we're uh, just... But no, for, for Horizon, I'm going to... Yeah, I already had an Xbox One S, but I'm getting a Series X for Horizon 5 straight up. I have to. Yeah, and... I, yeah. I have to say they had a great mix of games that are coming, uh, you know, next year, 2023, and and up to, you know, uh, just this holiday. So, I mean, good on Microsoft. Mm -hmm. I think it was a pretty well-balanced yeah. presentation. Like Derek said, there were some slow parts, some lulls here and there, but they, they weren't... Honestly, it was it was pretty well-paced. Like, uh, Yeah. Oh, my God. They just advertised a mini fr Xbox mini fridge. Uh, five dollars from the Lewis Dragoon saying B plus show. I like that they showed many release dates and a lot of Game Pass day ones. The pacing was solid as a whole, just game after game. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Like as Derek was saying, a few lulls here and there, but generally well paced. Showed a lot of stuff. I think it looks really great. And yeah, and and so much value in Game Pass. Game Pass continues to just fucking kill it. And yeah, I'm I'm I like what I saw. And Horizon Five is a must play for me. I agree, one hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, that's not I think agree was... with the two dollar donation saying yeah. boring, boring, boring. Not even one game I want. Well, fair I enough. Mean, that's, hey, it's not that, for that everybody. Happened. Yeah, you know, um, I was definitely not happy with uh, with, with the E uh, three Summer Game Fest kickoff. I thought that sucked. yeah, that was so, that was yeah. boring. You know, yeah. and, this is definitely better than that. Yeah, yeah, I think I think that there are going to be presentations that you know, I mean. Yeah, it's okay not to like the stuff you see. I like, yeah. and there were definitely things in this presentation that, you know, just aren't for me that I didn't like that didn't get me hyped at all. There were a couple trailers that I was just like, yep, all right, I can check out oh, and yeah. start talking about other stuff I now. Couldn't care <laughs> yeah. less about Age of Empires four. You know, not everybody's going to be for every, not everything's going to be for everybody, and that's fine. Exactly. Yeah, I, I think Microsoft did a remarkable job trying to include something for everyone without making it feel bland. Mm -hmm. Um. Rubber Man. Uh, by with the way, oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, I saw something I asking once again. Just as a reminder, we are streaming uh, Square Enix in about 45 minutes. Yes. Yes, we will be there. So we're probably going to, you know, end this pretty soon here so that we can all take a break, uh, go to the bathroom. Well, I just did. Yeah. But, you know, we'll get, get some, all scheduled and whatnot. Yeah, so. get some food in our stomachs, uh, get, the, get the stream scheduled, all that stuff. Um, Jaden Buck with a five dollar donation. Uh, fans, how about some Banjo Kazooie news? Xbox Yawn? Nah, I don't really feel like it. Yeah, I, and thank you for the donation. And that's the yeah. one thing. Of course, I said before this, I would love to see Banjo, but I have long since given up on seeing a new Banjo game at any at any Xbox conference. Just don't think it's in the cards. But it would have been nice, and it's yeah. a shame that we didn't. Get I was it. But, I was sad yeah. we didn't see Perfect Dark. I was sad we didn't get a that Controller too. Lab yeah. announcement. Um, yeah. I was really hoping for that. Uh, but yeah, I think you yeah. guys missed the Xbox Mini Fridge. Yeah, I missed the mini. We did. Page. Yeah, we, we did. We paused it. Yeah, I, I assumed it yeah. was over, and I just didn't yeah. want Twitch because one of the things you have to understand as we do these, um, especially on Twitch where it's kind of the worst, uh, if it ends, Twitch will almost immediately throw a commercial up on screen, uh, and we got mm -hmm. we got a copyright uh, claim for a commercial for a sandwich, yeah. and I was like, what the fuck man yeah so we had to cut that out and youtube makes it immensely difficult to remove those so mm. i'm i'm being a little gun shy We're with still the working pause on getting those out for the uh the game the yeah Jeff exactly Cena so youtube just makes it very difficult for us to remove copyright claimed content right. and uh i'm not gonna risk our whole stream over a sandwich <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Also, Rubberman two hundred two. I think I thought we did, but I might have missed misremembered that. But two dollars from Rubberman two hundred two saying Xbox Mini Fridge was the yeah. No, I was I was waiting which, to read that. Yeah, which looks like a Series X and just open it up and there it is a fridge. I I really want that. I have a mini fridge in my room too. 
uh <laughs> like off to the left there's like because we stream so often and i find myself getting thirsty the more we talk right and so i have mm -hmm. like a little mini fridge with just like a couple sodas and a bottle of water in there um which is empty yeah. right now um i would totally love it if i could have it be more on brand <laughs> but uh -huh. i i also don't yeah. know that i'm gonna buy an xbox mini fridge but i mean yeah, yeah, I, I have they, no uh... need for an xbox fridge but i love the idea that it even exists yeah i mean i go right next to your kfc pc whenever that oh, comes God. out the kf console needs to happen um <laughs> yeah, no let's see <laughs> skull kid tiger steve go restock your fridge that's the plan during the intermission um yeah, yeah. And food and a uh, refill of water so let's let's go ahead since we started this way let's go ahead and end this way too uh let's let's give our ratings you know as though we're reviewing just like we did for our previous conferences and we'll go in descending order visually for our audience. So Ash, uh, why don't you give us your take on how this uh, all played out? Uh, straight up, this is a great vibe for me. I, I enjoyed it. I was I was going in with kind of muted expectations because as I explained, I'm not the biggest fan of a lot of Xbox IPs. They just don't typically appeal to me. Not a big Halo guy, Gears of War guy, whatever. But I do love Forza. I certainly got that because Horizon 5 is a must own for me. And it was paced well, game after game after game. Not every single one was for me, but there were a lot that did intrigue me. And there was stuff I didn't even know I cared about, like Slime Rancher 2. That looks awesome. I like, of course I want to play something that looks like that. And Flight Simulator might be a bit too technical, but I, I can't help but want to at least try it because it's just, it looks so gorgeous. And yeah, there was just, there's a lot of stuff there that I didn't know I would be interested in. I thought the Halo Infinite story trailer was really nice. Um, as a, a very casual Halo guy, I thought it looked really nice. Um, yeah, just in general, I thought it was a, a strong presentation, one of the better Xbox ones. I'm I'm going to give it a great vibes, I think. Nice, nice. Uh, let, we've had quite a few, or a few Super Chats come in while yeah. we were getting your wrap-up. So uh, real quick before we get to Derek, Jeremy L. Kayyem with a $5 Super Chat says, Sad there were no announcements for my beloved Viva Piñata. But Slime oh. Rancher 2 will definitely scratch that itch, and Piñatas in Forza Horizon. Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't expect to see. Like, Rare seems not to be doing much beyond Sea of Thieves right now, um, which I guess the game is going well for them. Uh, that Jack Sparrow expansion will probably do quite well, I imagine. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, I would have loved to see something new from Rare. Probably not Viva Piñata for me, but I, I do agree nice. that, yeah. you know, Slime Rancher 2 still has that kind of colorful good feeling vibe to it that that i think will mm -hmm. it, it would scratch that itch for me too if viva pinata was my thing um mm -hmm. ss3 d man with a australian five dollar donation says xbox feels the same year it's the same every year good thing i came for the bath boys <laughs> <laughs> the bath well boy, uh yeah thank you for coming and hanging out with us we we definitely appreciate it uh means a lot to us that you guys are making time out of your morning and out of your E3 for us. So we're glad yes, you're here. Thank you so much. Uh, and uh, obviously there's a lot more E3 coverage to come right here on GVG. Uh, so stay tuned for that. We'll be live in like 45 minutes again. Um, more Enix, yeah. Yeah. And Isaac Wolf with a 20 Swedish Krone donation says Nintendo, Nintendo needs to buy Banjo at this point. Man, hard agree. I wish, man. Um, I so wish that. Yeah. yeah my, so <laughs> I have I have kind of a dual. Like I said, Banjo is not for me. Um, but I have kind of a dual pronged fear for Banjo is one that it'll never come back. Right. Just because Microsoft yeah. maybe doesn't see the value in it. But the other side is that if it does come back, is Rare still well equipped to make a good Banjo? That's game? what I was thinking as well. I'm not sure the current team at Rare is is i don't i don't want to say capable but I'm, I'm sure they're very capable of it but is it is it the right move for them is that you know what their talent is naturally geared toward i'm not so sure yep my my play is take banjo and kazooie uh farm it out to Playtonic and let them try it um mm -hmm. that would be where i'd go with it since a lot of the folks that worked on banjo are there that's what chocolate cake just said exactly let play sonic do it yeah and even though uh you know even though the original ukulele was you know had some issues i think they more than proved themselves with impossible layer like yeah. they more than proved that they had the chops and on impossible top of layer. that uh you know Playtonic with microsoft money would be would be a, a hugely different uh Thing. They would, mm -hmm. you know, right now they're working on the budget that they have, but Microsoft yeah. clearly could infuse quite a bit more cash into that operation. Yeah. Um, anyway, so let's move on to uh, Derek. What was your take on the uh, presentation, man? 
you know, the ni- nice thing is that you sit and you sort of reflect over what you saw and what, how you felt about it all. Because at the time, you're just like, oh, that was cool. Oh, that was cool. You, you kind of give yourself more of a, um, you know, positive spin on it and, you know, fond memories. But sitting and looking through it, it's like there was good stuff here. But once again, I come down to the point that nothing they've done has convinced me to buy an Xbox yet. There's good stuff, mm-hmm. but I just don't have that killer app, that thing. I was like, I need to get an Xbox for this. It's still not there for me. And, uh, you know, everything seemed good. There's no, no, I don't really think there's a lot of bad things here, but there's also not anything that was like, oh my God, <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. There's, there's this really cool thing that I got into. The biggest one was a Uden Chronicles, and I don't need an Xbox for that. It's just happened to right. be there. Yeah. Uh, and that's what happens a lot. Um, and it, But I'd say it's still like probably the best show we've had so far um, as far as showing games and getting them out there and just being really good. But um, Starfield doesn't, uh, you know, it doesn't do much. They Like their big, their, their, their big bookends was Starfield and Redfall. Both CG trailers that didn't offer yeah. up what their gameplay was. And I think that is kind of the crux of a lot of Xbox's problems. They have ideas of what you can, you know, like here's the concept of what you'll be able to play. You'll know they're coming, but we're not ready to show gameplay yet. And it kind of, we're at that point now where we're definitely expecting more gameplay than anything else. Still enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Leave it with a good vibes, but that's where I, where I find myself. Nice. At. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of in the middle between the two of you. I mean, I already own a series X, so I don't need to be sold on it, but, uh, Forza Horizon 5 blew me away. Like it, it, I, I can't wait for a true next gen (laughs) Forza. Uh, that is going to be a game that eats up a lot of my time. Uh, Halo Infinite, I think again, you know, we said this throughout the show looked great. Um, I'm curious to see what the hardcore Halo fandom thinks of it, but I personally thought it looked awesome. I think it's really smart to make it a to make the multiplayer a separate free to play game, um, you know. And those of us that have like high end TVs that can do 120 FPS, I think that'll be fun to check out. But it's not going to be something I stick on to. I'm more interested in the campaign, which the trailer showed me that it's probably going to look great. But I didn't learn much about mm-hmm. it beyond that. Like, okay, right. Master Chief is in space and kicking ass. Like, what else does he do? <laughs> um, yeah. I liked uh, I, I liked the look at Auden. I I would say Auden was the biggest surprise for me, just seeing the game in motion and being played, yeah. and the fact that there's a there's an Auden beat 'em up coming up in 2022. Like that looks well, not necessarily a beat 'em up, but like an action side scroll. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. That that is hype for me, and of course that's not an Xbox exclusive, like you said, Derek. Um, overall, I would give it I would give the whole presentation a, a good vibes, just because. Um, the things I was hoping to see, Perfect Dark, Xbox Controller Lab, right. stuff like that didn't show up. Um, and I would have liked to see at least something more of Perfect Dark. Um, I would have loved to hear more about when we can start designing our own Xbox controllers. That's kind of a big deal for me specifically. But um, right. And then, you know, the games that I was probably most hyped for, I didn't see a ton of gameplay for. Uh, but that being said, I came out overall very positive on this. I really liked the pacing of the presentation. I liked the games by and large that were shown, um, but it did have the hallmark Xbox E3 press conference issues of like Definitely. highlighting too many FPSs, you know, too much, mm, yeah. uh, the, the next gen piss filter on, on games, you know, that, that, <laughs> that you, one that game. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's, mm. it's, uh, very much an on brand presentation for them, which means that it it probably isn't going to get me like above and beyond hyped, but it was exciting and it does, make me excited for the games that I'll be playing on my Xbox for the rest of the year. Um, I think if we had like something between good and great, that's what I would probably go right, with because exactly. I'm not yeah, like, it's like, like halfway there yeah. for me. Yeah. But like, I, I have like, to say, really I do good wait vibes. Super happily. <laughs> yeah. It's like really good vibes. Yeah. But I, I gotta say Forza, I think I may, maybe I'm weighing it a little bit too heavily in my rating, but it's just, mm, it got me so much. And that was something exactly what I wanted to see. So it's just, yeah, mm. it really did it for me. Yeah. Oh, overall, like, you know, I still I still think this is one of the best shows Microsoft has put on, uh, certainly in recent years. I'm excited to see, you know, what what they continue to work on. But I still feel like the Xbox coming out of this, I still feel like I need that Ratchet and Clank game for the Xbox. The thing that shows yeah. off all of what the hardware can do and none, nothing they showed today gave me that feeling like, oh, shit, this is 
this is the pure full on next gen experience we want from Xbox. So I'm so hopeful that'll happen. Do that for you? Uh, four, the thing is, four, Forza kind of does that for me, but the problem is racing games are always pretty. Like you were like, oh, the water effects on the window. I'm thinking to myself, that's been around for a while. They've done that kind of like water well, hitting the screen and the, fading so away. Visually, it does it for me. But when I mm -hmm. say everything, I mean everything, right? Like I want to see, because uh, Ratchet and Clank visually is very impressive, but it also shows off like the super fast SSD in the PS5 really well. And it shows mm -hmm. off the haptics really well. And so for right. me, you gotcha. know, we got half of the package there. We got we got the, uh, you know, and it could be that Forza does have like incredibly fast loading. They just didn't show it, right? Like if right. I, if, if it's like uh, I hit start game and just instantly my car appears and I'm in the, that would be dope. I would like that. Or if they had some way for me to fast travel super, super fast, then yeah, that, that could get me the rest of the way there. But I think that okay. Halo is probably more likely to be that game uh, that kind of right. really sh blows the lid off of what the Xbox can do. But even then, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, before we close this out, because I know we all have to take care of personal needs in between streams. Uh, Rubberman with a $10 super chat says, and this is referring to Banjo, uh, says Microsoft definitely sees the value in it from a merchandising perspective. Also, Greg Mayles, lead designer of the old Banjo Kazooie games, said he'd only revisit the series if he has good new ideas for it, which, right? I mean, it's been a while. You could probably. <laughs> <laughs> somebody has good new ideas for banjo i guarantee it it's <laughs> just a matter of you, uh, yeah i just don't think they want to make it i don't think they yeah, have I desire i just don't think they want to do it uh sketch a mpm with a four dollar 99 cent super chat and thank you by the way for the ten dollar yes chat thank there, you so man. much uh, yeah, seriously sketch a mpm with a four dollar 99 cent super chat says solid c plus too many FPS, but some nice surprises. Well paced, and the value of Game Pass can no longer be denied. Also, play Blood Blood Dragon, please. And one thing I want to point out that I forgot to mention, but I wanted to, was fucking Yakuza, like a dragon. On yeah, Game Pass. that was like, awesome. That's big, and all these yeah. games being on Game Pass is also really big. Um, I I feel like they did a lot to bring value to the Game Pass service. Uh, maybe a little bit at the cost of showing off why the hardware is worthwhile. Um, mm -hmm. that's been their issue is that they can't, they haven't fully balanced the two yet. Yep. All right. right. Well, I think that wraps up our thoughts on Xbox. Uh, yeah, we, we are going to, I would say so. Oh, Square Enix. So we should probably get that. Yeah. We're going to be live in 30 yeah. minutes for Square Enix. So, um, yeah. Stay probably tuned. A little less than that. Actually, it starts at 1215. So yeah, I guess yeah, more we're going to be live in minutes. 20 minutes. Yeah. So let's just say 20 yeah. minutes <laughs> for, for Square Enix. Uh, we'll have a bunch of predictions for that as well as, you know, our hopes and dreams for that. So stay tuned. Come back in about 15 minutes. We'll, we'll be ready to go. I think we're all just going to chug some water, eat something real quick, and come right back to entertain you all for another hour or two. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this with us. This has been Xbox. Yes, thank you. Uh, we appreciate all your love and support. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Uh, it means a lot to us. You know, It helps the channel out a lot. It helps us to be able to create streams like this for you and sit in our chairs for hours at a time on the weekend. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we will see y'all in, in 20 minutes. All right. So yep. see you then, everyone. Bye, Bye. everybody. Later.